Wait, wait, give me some time. Sage, Sage, we get it. You got a tattoo, man. It wait, looks hey, like, hey, wait, super good. Like, Sage is gonna talk like that the whole podcast. I hope all barbers like go on like fucking strike and that shit grows over your tattoo. Okay, guys. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, guys. Five hundred thousand subs, I will get the logo tatted on my butt. If we all get it, if we all get it tatted, but I will. Why on your butt? Literally, the butt is my, my cheek. Literally, my cheek is the only place where I don't have why eczema. Why do you say literally? That's literally. That is <laughs> that is literally <laughs> the goodie from Fortnite. No, because there was there was this one girl in high school I was friends with. She would talk like that. Literally, maybe she had a lisp. She, yeah, she had literally? a lisp. Jesus. Christ. No, it was a condition. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh. But no, 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 it wasn't a list though. A list is, is the S's. Like, <laughs> a list can be anything. Like, you cannot, if you can't pronounce your R's, because that means you can't pronounce your R's, right? Oh, yeah. Literally? <coughs> like, yeah, actually, like, literally. That it could be a list. What do we like from Fortnite? I have a question. Who actually dressed like this at some point in their life? Not me. After that <laughs> LMFAO video I came out. Dude, that LMFAO that video. That was prime time, bro. I think, oh my God. I think we all kind of did. Cause just cause it was like in it was like it was a uh, fashionable or it was trendy when we were like in seventh and eighth grade. I was gonna ask you, do you think if this was like the style right now, Fuck we yeah. would we would be wearing yeah. stuff like this? Honestly, I'm telling you, I feel like the man right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. You think you'd step out in these these types of glasses? Like if this was the style right now, do you think no. that you'd be wearing this? Honestly, no. maybe no, to a rave. No, I can't see anything out of these. Maybe the oh, hat. I'm definitely taking these to another rave. Maybe yeah. the hat. Dude, I can't I can't see anything. Yo, Christine, the lights will go crazy because like. Right? Yeah. So is this considered Tumblr era too? Yeah. Yes. I never like, had it's a Tumblr. Like 2012 to 2014, I think, because 2014. <laughs> fucking peaked i don't know what happened in 2014 to like 2016 <laughs> oh shit so you're just gonna Ow. walk backwards Ow. from now on um guys if you don't know uh the three of them on that side actually all got tattoos this weekend do you guys want to oh. y'all want to show them your tattoos i think they did bro <laughs> oh, you hear that what does that say <laughs> <laughs> dev go ahead and go ahead and show yours go ahead dev just put it up there oh yeah watch out christine <laughs> oh yeah I got, oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, um, oh, oh, I got uh, more like tulips all the way around. You can see that? <laughs> oh. yeah, right there. Yeah. That is sick. What are you doing? How long goes, did it take? This took three it's hours, on the table. Three hours. And then it goes oh, in between, like bad. it goes through, it goes through my skull I already have. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. That's so. Do they, do they tough. smell, Christine? Do they, does the feet smell? You want to see again? <laughs> hey Christine, what did you get? I got 1973 from my mommy. That's her birthday? She was born then. 1973? Yeah. That's her birthday. Or her birth year. <laughs> her birth year. That's the same thing, <laughs> man. That's the same thing, dude. No, it's and not. technically, when she entered the world, I entered the world. So, That's tough. so pain level for you, Sage. 1 through 10, pain level. The only tattoo. reason why it, was, it hurts so bad. That's was a because... really painful spot to get your first tattoo. Yeah, dude, it was it's like, hilarious. So, you know how, like, or how, the best way I could describe it? it for like a girl is like maybe down there. It's like you know how like when you shave. Excuse me. No, it's just like it's just a, a rep, like to to put the pain level. Like you know when you shave, but mm -hmm. you have sometimes you have razor burn mm -hmm. or like oh. an ingrown hair. Mm -hmm. Imagine somebody going like that with the opposite side of like a fucking. I don't really know how to describe it. You are no like way sandpaper. near. Yeah, like sandpaper. I know, Sage. Yeah. I have a tattoo on the back of my neck. So. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that bad like, though. Damn. I think it's because we we get haircuts, mm -hmm. so we it's like all these the, the hair's hair super out. thick. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the hair's really thick on guys. Oh. Also, yours isn't like that. Yours isn't like isn't yours kind of just like lines though? Like oh yeah, is, like, mine wasn't shaded like shading or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I bet that hurt. Yeah. So one through ten, what was it? I say solid eight. Eight. Oh, solid eight. Uh, Christine, first tattoo, one through ten. Um, like a zero. Oh. I almost like. I fell asleep and like I don't know I guess like this spot really isn't that painful it's not yeah so like I just felt like more of the vibration of gotcha. the tattoo gun gotcha. but there was like a part down like lower Bayala, here huh? that part yeah. it started to it started to hurt where I had to like bite the inside of my mouth a little bit but one through ten it was kind of gross um <laughs> everywhere around my leg was like really easy I was started falling asleep when I first started getting this one but then when it hit my shin mm -hmm. easy nine yeah. Which one was your worst tattoo that you got? Like uh, most painful, most painful. Um, probably this one. Really? One? Just because it was on it your was shin? on my shin. But when Ooh. it was like on my left about, side or my right what side. What about right here? Did this one no, not hurt? Nah, because that's not on his collar though. Is it? Is it, it on your collar? It touches. Oh shit. But um, I fell asleep for this one, 
Damn. I fell asleep for. <laughs> um, Damn, you fell asleep. Imagine yeah, waking I, up and like fucking him up. Well, no, I, would, yeah. I would, dude. I would jerk yeah. myself awake. Like, what the fuck? Madu, does the fingers hurt? Oh yeah, fingers hurt the most for me. I bet right? this hurt, I hurt, bro. I hurt finger and then like the rib cage yeah. hurts a lot. Oh, I have a rib cage. That one didn't hurt that much. You have a rib cage? Yeah, I got a four 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 right there. Oh, right there on that. You do have a four four four. I forgot about Wait, that. Wait, what is that? What is four four four? I've seen I've seen that all. It's people. for a Wendy's four four four. You got the Wendy's four four four. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? The Wendy's four four four. It's a Wendy's four four four. That's just fire. I have to get it. That's just fire. I'm kidding. It means you are protected by your angels. Wow. I thought you said you don't believe in God. I thought I said I do believe in God. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh. Never mind. Um, Jesus. <laughs> my boss. stare at me Sorry. like that? <laughs> it's hard to see. Wait, uh, Deb, that was your first tattoo, right? I got this when I was 18. Damn. Uh, you're so cool. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm like that. <laughs> hey. That's it, bro. Listen, guys, before we start the podcast, I have a quick question. What the fuck is going down with uh, Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber? Okay, wait. You oh, fucked the whole thing. I was supposed oh, to get it. I was going to ask that. Oh, my God. You want to ask it? No, I was going to ask it. That's how you already asked it. It's yeah, Selena. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to be the guy to ask because I want the girls to know that I care. I went on a whole TikTok it. rabbit hole. I want to hear it. I did, too. Okay, let's do that and then let's go. Because yeah. I was going to say Selena or Hailey Bieber, but... <gasps> It had something to do with the. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What's Bro, going on. if you don't say don't Selena, know. you will get canceled. Wait, let's hear it. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, but I'm so lost. I got, yeah, I'm not being inside. Well, like, let's, hear, let's, let's hear. Let's hear what's happening. Okay, this is this is what I know from the rabbit hole I went down on. Basically, um, um, Selena Gomez made a video and she was like laminating her brows or something, right, Christine? And then um, she was like. Um, oh, I wish I looked like a Bella Hadid. Um, she was like, I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Like, I was yeah. trying to do, like, a Bella Hadid look. And now she was, like, just saying, like, oh, it turned out weird. It looked perfectly fine on her, but she was just like, it looked funny. And then Kylie posted a screenshot of her on FaceTime with Hailey Bieber. And they were, like, super zoomed into their eyebrows. And that made it seem like they were making fun of Selena for her eyebrows. Okay. But it also started... There was like that one TikTok that Haley did before that, where like it's her, Ky- Kendall, and like Justine Sky, I think, like lip syncing to something. Okay. A TikTok oh. sound. Okay, yes, was it was a TikTok was? sign. Sound, it basically, okay, correct Wait, me if I'm it? wrong. Wait, say it again, who was in it? Kylie. Ky- no, no, Kendall, <clears throat> Haley Bieber, and I think justine sky i don't know okay, I don't know that is okay so in that tiktok it was something uh, about like karma or like what goes around comes around like yeah. karma's a bitch or something that. like that yeah. something like that but they recorded that and posted it after um paparazzi pictures of selena gomez came out where um she gained a lot of weight and also she looks bloated but that's because of her lupus condition mm-hmm. she has to take like um steroid yeah. medication yeah. or some of that that makes her look bloated um so when that came out, she started getting a lot of hate because people were like, oh, what the fuck happened to her? Like, and basically body shaming her, which is fucked up. And then they posted it right after all that shit was going down. And so people connected that and thought they were making fun of um, Selena Gomez. Okay. So this is all alleged. Like, it's not so alleged. 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 Sorry, is crazy. Sorry I'm an immigrant. <laughs> Give me a quick second before you keep going. You said <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that has to do with that. <laughs> No, it is, though. She's like, allegedly. Sorry, I'm an immigrant. (laughs) (laughs) So is there actual beef or is there not actual beef? So so, so there have been, like, comments on each other's, on, like, other people's TikTok videos. Like, they'll do, like, tea videos. Like, this is what's going on. And then Selena commented, like, it's not that serious. Like, you know, like, we're just having fun or whatever. Haley also did something like that, too, and apologized. Okay. Oh, I've never seen that. i never seen that. Yeah, I always did think um, TikTok kind of took it way out, out of proportion. Took way out of proportion, yeah. Way out of proportion. I'm glad they commented that. But then I did see, like, didn't Selena Gomez comment on, like, uh, an old video of Haley <gasps> that got posted where Haley was, like, Ugh, about, yes, like, okay. Taylor Swift's music? And there's this really weird thing about... Like of Haley apparently copying everything that Selena does. I, I saw see that. The I tattoos. See that. Did you guys the see that? No, okie but okie no not the okie dokie yeah. one. But like Selena one. has like this G behind her ear, and she got it for her little sister Gracie. <clears throat> and then Haley got the same G tattooed behind her ear, and people think that like same Haley, font and everything. Same font, everything, and Haley and people think that Haley got it because she thought it was a J in cursive for like Justin and then <gasps> no way. Stop. 
Oh my god. <laughs> but okay, wait. I hey, that's gotta, real. That's yeah, like y'all really crazy. I gotta, man. I gotta find the TikTok Dude, video I got, because I, I was like, wait, I'm so confused on what the beef is though. Dude, yeah, where does it, where's it lie? Yeah, where, like, so I guess it's a legend. But like, what is a legend? Apparently, like bullying Selena Gomez. Okay. So, so not right. so they weren't technically speaking they weren't actually bullying her technically like there's no they there's no like actual shots being thrown. People just kind of connected it um yeah, like say, different videos. Stupid. So like so they said so they connected a video of Karma yeah. that was before they even did any of that. Oh no no of Karma? Yeah, because you said they posted a video of them singing something about Karma. And then um, that, was before. that was after after Selena Gomez um posted about her lupus how she has lupus right no. <laughs> No, yo, no, no, no. That was they posted that after like paparazzi took pictures of her um with a bikini on, and then she had gained like a little bit of weight and she looked a little more bloated because of lupus, um and people were like basically making fun of her body, oh. and so like they posted that right after when all that shit was going on, saying like oh like same karma. because Be- because of the whole eyebrow thing. Nah, man, there's a lot of different stuff. There's a bunch of different things going on. Yeah, and they beef no, over eyebrows. No, they were saying that. They were saying that about the whole, the whole um, Selena times. getting hate for her body. Separate That's times. They were basically, yeah. No, I know, Separate but it's like I'm just uh, oh. two and two. Honestly, I'm just so dude, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Like it's not it's really like take it, it could be people taking things out of context and it could be real but it, it <laughs> so sounds like i'm not confused i don't know do you, you get the whole situation i get it but i don't get what do you get what do you like what do you like what'd how, you get out of that okay so selena gomez posted a picture people were commenting that like uh body shaming her after that Haley bieber posted a tiktok about karma's a bitch something like that and then there was another thing where Selena Gomez posted her eyebrows and she was like, I'm trying to look, I wish I could look like Bella Hadid. And then Ky- Kylie and Haley posted a zoomed in screenshot on FaceTime. And then people think that, people just think that, that they were mocking Selena. You get what I mean? Like, so yeah. it's just all, it's all I'm just like, confused on what the hell is like, where? It's not crazy. Like, just not like if real. you're that famous. <laughs> There's that a lot of be. layers to it. Yeah. Team Selena? Team Selena. Selena. Team Selena. Selena. Oh my god. Team she has Selena. that one that one song that's a banger. The old old one. When you're ready, come and get nah, it. Nah, that, nah, that was a banger. Nah. But there's it, one there's I one that's a real like a love, love song, song, baby. That's always so I tough. love that song. That beep 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 beep. What's the see? magic one? I really like that one. Which one? Oh. I've got the magic. <laughs> <laughs> No. I got the magic <laughs> in me. It's like ugh. she did like a cover. Just of that. like magic, just like magic. Oh, fuck, Christine, do you know that song? The one that goes like just like magic. Uh uh-uh. uh. No 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 no. I loved her in like that one dancing movie. Oh, with the guy. Dude, with the that guy one. In the that movie was fire. I watched that back. That shit was so that, uh, cringy. It was, it's so cringy. No, all the movies of that of that Disney or was that Disney? Oh, Big yeah. Time Rush that still was slaps. Ariana Grande, my bad. Big <laughs> Time Rush still slaps. I think now I could watch that shit and that shit's still good. But that movie like was so funny because I think she just did ballet, right? So the guy was like break dancing, and then she would like come at him with like ballet moves. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That movie like, was so loud. sick. That movie was so sick, bro. You want, you want a little fire. princess, huh? Huh? You want a little princess for yourself, huh? Is that what it was? Yeah. Why do you why you say it like that? Huh? You want a little princess for yourself, <laughs> huh? You know that that there's a podcast of the Wizards of Waverly Place. Like, oh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I saw that too. That's one, I don't really see a lot of Selena Gomez. Oh, I, I did see that. that. Like the dad, right? Was it the dad? And the best yeah. friend. What's her name? Harper. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I only know her by her Red name and girl? the thing. Redhead girl? Yeah. Isn't it like Jennifer Stone? Is not her name? No. 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 That's the other. Oh, no. <laughs> My fucking bad, dude. I don't know you these celebrities' it. names without I have a life outside like, of social media. You got yeah, it. damn. That's em- did you say Emma Stone? I said Jennifer Stone. Oh, I think you said em- Jennifer Stone because Emma Stone Who's is Who's Rosetta Stone? Like, Emma Stone is the one in Harry Potter. Rosetta Stone. No, Who's Jennifer this episode Stone? is sponsored by Rosetta no, Stone. No, Jennifer Stone isn't, isn't a real person, I think. Oh. I think you're getting confused with Emma Stone. Sp- and Spider-Man. Yeah, the Spider-Man with Spider-Man. the redhead. Yeah. Wait, which one's the one in Wizard, the Wizard movie? Or the Wiz- Harper. Harry, no, Harry Potter. I meant Harry Potter. Emma Potter? Watson. Emma Watson. Oh, Emma Watson yeah. is she's, so she's fine. very beautiful. She's very beautiful. Oh! And she's so smart. Oh! <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, Fuck. Jennifer Stone. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm God. I'm so sorry, Harper, from Wizards of Wherever You Place. Wait, yeah. then, then who, who's the one in... Who's sorry. the one in the... Emma Watson. Emma, no, 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 no. Oh. Emma Stone? Emma Stone. I, I, lost <laughs> oh, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. They're all related to each other. You guys know Bob Duncan is in a new movie in Netflix? 
<laughs> Bob guy. Duncan. Bob Duncan. Yeah, it is top would ten. You, uh, would you smash Bob Duncan? <laughs> hell no. What? what the, oh, what? what? Is? Hell yeah. No. Yeah, hell. I, was about to, I was about to be like. I, I got scared. I thought all y'all were What like, kind no. of a question is that? Bob Duncan? Wait, I would smash Bob Duncan. The only dad I would smash, we all know. Hi, oh, I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm yeah. kidding, y'all. It was a joke. Dude, really I don't know how I did. If I, if I had a wife and like all my son's like friends were like, Saying she's so bad and all this stuff, I'd probably be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, don't tell your parents, please. They already know, man. Did you who, who, who you, tell, you said it to the public? I don't tell my mom. You call her fine and shit. Like, well, you should do that. <laughs> That's in the spot where you should be doing that. Please and thank you. I'll Facetime you next time you're in the car with her. No. I just be like, "Yo, can you put me on like full blast real quick?" You're so annoying. Nick. And I'll admit my love for her. Um, you like hit on moms. You don't even know what they look like, and you still hit on them, like yeah, Jackie's well, mom. Okay. Can't. What do you? What's to say? You miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take, buddy. That has nothing to do. You just gotta that. shoot. That's, that's swag right there. That's so swag. You're, you're, you're gonna shoot at people. You're gonna shoot at <laughs> shoot at women. You don't know. Even if like you don't know what they look like, you're just gonna shoot. Hundred percent. If they're a mom, yeah. Okay. Have okay. you seen that one show, the Milfs and Sons show? Dude, I saw that. Oh, I did see that. That shit's a wild. I saw it from Cody Ko's channel. I can't watch that, bro. That's pretty weird. So I don't want to pick a side. I have no idea. I that's that shit sounds mad stupid to me. I don't. I'm not I don't lie. see that stuff, dude. It, it's it does stupid. sound. If very it's real, stupid. definitely Team if, Selena. If no, it is, yeah, 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 definitely for sure. Most def. I'm just gonna pick. I agree. I fuck up. Pick a team, Selena. All right, hold up. Team Selena, if it's real, that's like straight up bullying. But like the thing is, like no one has proved anything, you know. So you can't really. Best drama, ever, have to happen. Oh, ever. Oh my god. Uh, Soulja Boy and Drake. Kanye. Oh, no, Kanye no, no. Taylor. Uh, Tati. Kanye West Taylor Swift. Oh, Tati James Charles. Tati James Charles. <laughs> oh my I gosh, that, that shit. literally that was broke insane. the internet. Not like. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh and then Jeffree Star got involved yeah. and everything. I Shane was like, Dawson. Oh, oh, that's that's Shane messed Dawson. up. Shane Dawson doing weird stuff to cats. Yeah. Yeah. Who's top? Oh, no, I'm not gonna ask. I don't even want to know. PewDiePie was weird for a little bit. The internet was just just really just right, bad and like everything went downhill after the swagger. And we're live in three, two, one. Wait. Hello Sage, everybody, welcome wait, back wait, to Wait, 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 before we start, please, can I please uh, ask you to do something? Can you talk in a swag voice, like a vocal fry? Uh, well, for the, just for the that? introduction. What is that? Like, you know how, like... When you, oh, when you like, drag out. Oh, that was, <laughs> who did that? Oh, that's <laughs> Madu. Like the oh, swagger, like, hey, welcome back to Suburbs, dog. That's pretty good. It makes me want to be like, hey, dog. Like, 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 like this, like this, like this. Drip is temporary, swag is forever. <laughs> Wow, you you used to be good at that. Huh? <laughs> I got I got my stuff. All right, that and, was pretty and we're live in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Seven Talks. I'm your host for today's stage. Yeah, you already know what's going on. How you feel? <laughs> hey. All right, what, were, what were some words? What were some words that they were using in the swag era? Swag. <laughs> swag literally. Hey, hey, I say that shit all the time. Swag yeah. is forever. Damn. No, a it lot wasn't of hashtags it, it was too. the keep calm thing, wasn't it? Like keep oh, calm and keep swag. Calm and keep swag calm on. and keep or keep calm, stay calm and keep podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> and keep calm and, and stay <laughs> suburb talks. To my left, we got Christine. Hello. You can go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Yeah, sw swaggy D up in this bitch. A little D up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't think I can do it. <clears throat> try, try, Nick. <clears throat> Nikki G up in this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you went. Nikki G. Nikki G. Nikki G. Madly up in this hole. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm Sean. I'm Sean. Sean, can you not be white for like five seconds and just actually do it? Just actually do it, dude. Please, Sean. Uh, why, why do you always have to act so cool, bro? Just I'm we're not, all doing it, man. I'm not acting cool. She didn't do it either. Yeah, but I'm scared of Christine, so it's different. You actually have to do I'm it. I'm not. Why? I'm no. I I'm Sean. Sean, rub your hands too like this. Come on, Sean. Like how? I'm Sean. <laughs> I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I kind of want to tap into that era though. Like, dude, I was fucking. I was jerking. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Uh, fucking. Dude, we no. joked started. I was jerking. Yo. No. I bet you were. I was like, no. I was jerking. Yo. I bet you were. I was like, no. I, I, <laughs> I was also very young, so maybe yes. That was puberty but, right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. 
Oh, so you're, I should not put that. Yeah. You're jerking it both ways? I was jerking both ways. <laughs> <laughs> one, one way I was jerking harder gotta, than the other. I gotta take these off, bro. Wait, sorry. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, but I, dude, I was like for real about that shit. Like, I would have my hat like all the way down to here, fucking like going no crazy. Way. Bro, I was. Dude, where? Here. At school? At like all the school dances and everything. I used to have a white G Shock. I used to be the guy that would go flexed, in dude. and like do all that shit. You know, I used to have a Neff watch. Oh, that is so I had a mean G Shock. Wow. Yeah. I had a whole Neff collection. With like I shirts, they're all neon shit, and shit. So I don't know if that is. I, I, that's not swagger. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, it is. What? And they had like the Rasta. One of them had the Rasta <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't know about the Neff. I don't, yeah. Neff wasn't swag. Neff, Neff is like eighth. Like no, 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 no. no, no. That Neff, is, Neff, Neff is, was that Neff is, was dubstep era. Yeah. Also the weed oh. socks, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> weed socks. The active socks. The huff. The huff. The huff. Um, the awesome. boobies bracelets that was more the diamond grade, though. shirts the diamond yeah. shirts the fucking yeah. diamond obey hundreds yeah it was yeah. obey and stuff like that the was bulls awesome. hat I only wore the bulls hat and the bulls jersey it was always bulls for some reason dude those diamond shirts are oh, yeah. tight too yeah bro. the bulls they were like they could not stretch either those diamond shirts you ever tried putting on like years yeah. later yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're tight <laughs> nah bro but that was a great time to be alive it was a great time. You know, I thought this like swag era um, fits were died down, but like, you know, last time I went to Knott's, I was like, wow, it lives on. There were people still. Wait, did I? Yes. Do you remember uh, Bathing Ape? Yeah, yeah. All of that. Like, oh, Bape is, Bape is Bape still, is still going on. Bape is like an I know, iconic but brand I think, now. guys. <laughs> Is that oh, like the papes is like the actual shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, I crazy. think those are tough, though. No, those yeah. are extremely yeah. tough. I think those, those go for a lot of money. Yeah. I think the people that used to. Um, Dress like this in the swag era are now babe heads. I really think about it. Yeah. See that. But the, the, those, those, those shoes, shoes are, are so nice. I've, I've been wanting a pair for a long time. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, I was gonna talk about the, the whole kid ache kind of thing. Oh, the era. Dude, oh, no, nah, I was I was jerking and doing. Oh, fuck yeah. Yo, <laughs> bro. I was doing the jerk. I was doing the jerk and hit. Nah, nah, that was, that was valid. And I was doing the SpongeBob. All the time. Oh, I, I was more yeah. of a cat daddy guy. I did this SpongeBob. Yeah. SpongeBob after all that three, LMFAO all, video. Put all four in one? Together. Cat daddy. Stanky Leg was going crazy back then too. The fucking Dougie, dude. Dougie. The Dougie it was, was a swagger? Yeah. 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 Definitely. I had yeah. a resurgence. Yeah. And the reject. What about that one trend mm. where like you, you had to say still? The mannequin challenge? That was like no, 20, no, no. Like 20, no, no, no. <laughs> the, the other one, Nick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, um, go do a shake. shake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you were you were crazy. Was yeah. that swag? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. And and Carlos Carlos style came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was right. No, it's not swag. It's not swag. That was early 2000. That was after for sure. Oh, no. It was swag. It was swag because it was 8th grade. Yeah. Yeah, it was like all bleeding into that. Crunk? I think that was I think that was a I think that was a summer. Oh, yeah, no. Gangnam style was definitely It's swag era. It was like the end of it. No, I want to say the end of it like going into like music video for Gangnam Style. It's like the most swag era thing ever. <laughs> what was the era? 2012. 2012. Release 2012. To 2014, yeah. oh, 2014, I think for sure. 2010 to 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere, nowhere after 2014. Yeah. Swag yeah. era was circa 2009 to 2014. Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> this is what the description is. Anyone who was a teen or young adult during the 2010s will for sure have a picture of them in skin tight, flamboyant, skinny jeans <laughs> <laughs> somewhere buried in their Facebook photo gallery. Yep. Yeah, You're not wrong. I was gonna go into kidding, but I was gonna say like, so this this question that I just grabbed just to to see how you guys would feel. If you're dating a rapper slash singer, would you still let them release songs about their ex? <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? Oh, so like they broke but up like with their ex. Like banger, so like like some Bryson Tiller type shit. If they were saying, oh. if they were saying, if they were saying, if they were, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I would, if are I was Bryson saying, Tiller's ex, <laughs> are they saying about how much they they miss their ex in the song? Or are they Think talking about, about Bryson Tiller like, exchange? <laughs> Bruh. Fuck. <laughs> you exchange for me. Wait, yeah, he released some stuff <laughs> saying like no one was better than his ex in some of his songs. No oh. way. Dude, yeah, wait, I literally have the lyrics to one of these songs. Keep talking. Would you believe it if he said some shit like that and then he was like, babe, like it's just like for the like the music, you know, for the people like they love it. Like, he's like, it's really how I feel. Like. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, that's like, that reminds me of Selena Gomez's Ghost of You. I mean, Justin Bieber's Ghost of You. I think apparently it was about Selena and it's like, um, if I can't have you, I'll settle for the Ghost of You. Oh, that would shit. literally shatter my heart and like I, I couldn't be with that person. Like I couldn't imagine. He's basically saying he's he's settling he's for the ghost of you. Yeah. That's what that's kind of what this is. So what if you're the artist? Yeah. You get with them five months after their breakup. It's been a while, 
and he's about to drop a song and he's like i just want you to know i made this like m a couple months ago before okay. i met you but he's putting it out now now that he's with you mm -hmm. these are the lyrics of his song i'm just gonna read you yeah. one line okay so it's clearly not broken it's just unfinished i feel like my new bitch no, was just your apprentice no. Sing no, it, no you need to sing it though i don't yeah, i don't really know how it goes no, that much oh wait what yeah yeah, yeah. say said, that again it's clearly not broken it's just so unfinished i feel like my new bitch was just your apprentice Damn, fuck. Damn. That's kind of tough, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good song. Yeah, it's extremely no. tough. Do you think Kelly, like, that's a bar? Oh, Honestly, what did he say? I, I would say no. Because, Dude, like, now hold them back. think about it. Because they're so famous. Like, you're going to look like a clown. Like, you I am think so, good I'm like, looking like a clown. He's basically saying, <laughs> no, that is wild. Maria, Maria, you I want you to think about this. Close. Maria, I want you to Wait, stop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Listen, go ahead. your apprentice... Think about it. Like that's crazy. But Maria, <laughs> what if you hear it and you're like, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, that, if this guy wasn't your man's, you'd be like, this is a hit. Like this is bigger than Rockstar by Post Malone. You know what I yes. mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> if you and you're telling me that you wouldn't want him to release that, it's like the best song ever. If I was the girlfriend, because if I if let's say I wasn't the girlfriend and I listened to that, and I was like, oh, this bar is fire. But then his. Um, relationship was very public I'd also be like damn but I feel bad for his girlfriend you know what I mean yeah you know? I mean what if, what if like the situation was like he's just really fucking good at making songs and, like he like could tell a story yeah. but like sometimes it sounds a little too good <laughs> like he's been through a lot of shit you would tell him no <laughs> you'd say no you'd say don't please don't drop that yeah I'd be like bro like drop something else or like switch the lyrics up to something damn. else damn, but that's one of his biggest out. songs bro. yo you're toxic bro that's <laughs> fucked up dude. you're toxic bro <laughs> Oh my god. You pray on your significant other's downfall. That's basically what I'm hearing. Post this shit on TikTok, see if the girls agree with me because so that's just gonna Ice Ice Spice. Really, really if Ice Spice is posting a lyric like that, you're not gonna trip if you're if you're a man's, right? <laughs> what if she posted some shit though? Like my last man's was so much bigger. You're like, <laughs> no. so you know what I mean? That's where I'd be yeah. like, oh okay. Imagine Maybe don't post name it. dropping and shit. <laughs> That's His curse severely to the left, yours are straight. I think I'd be like, um, I, maybe you should keep that one in the drafts. Yeah. <laughs> you're or like, what like, if she was like, I'm oh. only, I'm only fucking on my new man because I can't fuck with you or something yeah. like that. Like, you would let her, honestly, just be honestly. If I mean, that's if that's just a bop, low key. If, if I'm a, like, I, think, yeah. I think if if my ex, let's say I'm a girl, let's say my ex buys a tiller, I'm being like, yo, babe. Your shit is fucking tough. Like, yeah. Like, honestly, keep going because whatever you went through must have been crazy for you. If to be your girl like that. was like Bryson Tiller, you're saying? Or what'd you say? Uh, actually, wait, never mind. Dude, you know how many artists, though, make songs like that and how many of them are in relationships? Like, they obviously that probably talk true. about it. Like, they're like, this is just music from a while back or whatever it is. Like, they have to. You can't tell. You're going to tell Chris Brown to not drop a song. Like there's he probably, no he shot. He'd probably beat your ass if you told okay. that. Oh, yeah, wow. let's not break Chris Brown into this. Sorry, my fault. I'd actually, be, I'd actually be terrified of that man. Okay, like, not I Chris would be Brown. Scared. Bryson Tiller. Fuck. Let's just say Bryce the situation we have now. You're gonna tell him not to drop it. You're gonna say, hey, I, I really don't think you should drop that. And what? If, and what if he says, no, I, I need to drop this. Like I've been working a while on this song. Are you gonna break and up with he him? plays it to you for the first time ever, and you listen to you listen to exchange okay, for the first time. Okay, realistically, what the fuck am I saying? This man's famous as fuck. He's fine as hell. Can't Honestly, say no. you can't I really can't say really no. say no. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he that's was like an underground rapper, some SoundCloud type of guy, I'd be like, okay, maybe don't do that. But if he was Bryson Tiller, realistically, yeah, would dude. I really tell him to stop? Voice, though? Damn. Me. I was lying the entire time. I'm not letting them sing that song. What is Bryce Tiller? Do you know? Can you can you give me a bar off of Exchange? That's oh, like, absolutely. What do you want to hear? <laughs> <laughs> give me. I want to hear like you can look it up. I want to hear like a very toxic lyric. Like lyric. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want to see how hard this shit is? Oh, I got it. I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everywhere she goes, they play in my song. The chorus, bro. <laughs> something. Something. Hold on. Um. That's why I say the things that I, I say. say that way, you, you know, know I can ignore me. That's like what? <laughs> When I was singing it to Devin on FaceTime, bro, I was like, damn. I know. Like, Did you hear, like, the first time that day? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it just, you like, discovered it? Yeah, I re rediscovered it. Yeah, you called it. me, like, dude, this shit's hard. <laughs> I was like, what? Dude, like, come on. Yeah, dude, like. Everywhere she goes, they play in my song. That way, that's why I said the things I say. Like, what the? F that's fucked up. So but, give me all of you in exchange <laughs> for me. For <laughs> me. Break it down. Bryson Tiller. <laughs> Bryson Tiller was a little toxic. He no, said he's insane. They were all on Bryson. <laughs> Wait, listen, listen. He said he said, guess you changed for the better. I know I know you know how to make me jealous. I was never loyal, let you tell it, but I'm ready to fix it if you ready. Like 
Like he is gaslighting the show. Yeah. Right? What do I told you? Bryce the Teller got that dog. Did you, did you see that video where it's like if you fuck someone's baby mama to this song? Oh, yeah. see that? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> see, but that's what you gotta say. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They might have forgotten how to tattoo yeah. in the Mario costume. <laughs> that shit was yeah. so funny. That shit was funny. I think the answer would just be no, though. You're not letting him drop it, or just continue making music like that, okay, bro. Because like it would just be like. I would be like listening to that shit like bro what say what if they were like as famous as Ice Spice like you were with <laughs> wait wait no the Bryson <laughs> Tiller is, is very famous oh yeah. but like right now Ice Spice is trending okay whatever as famous as Bryson Tiller like a girl version like, fu- like fucking Beyonce or something Damn. you would still tell her like you can't yeah Beyonce got enough money yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah exactly. Beyonce got more than enough money she got more than enough fame showing you another song Beyonce literally okay. writes and wrote an entire album to diss Jay Z. Like, <laughs> yeah, she don't. I mean, look at him now. Yeah, I mean that is true. <laughs> you guys see that what? video of like? I she, changed my mind. I already know what you're gonna I say. Changed. Where Beyonce is like accepting her uh, award, and she's like, "This is to my beautiful man in the crowd." And Jay Z just looks fucking so ugly as ugly. shit. <laughs> Never mind. Damn. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I changed. I changed my answer. Um. Even if he's famous and rich and fine, like I don't give a fuck. I don't even think I would just be with. I wouldn't even be with him if there's something in like that. Like that's crazy. I'd probably start walking out the door. Dude, I yeah. think the second the second you hear that song though, it's low key like oh, we gotta break up. I would say we gotta you know break I mean? up, but you got a great future. Yeah, <laughs> you, think, you yeah. think people like that happens to like artists? You're gonna make it places. <laughs> like, oh yeah, most their significant definitely. other hears a song and they're like, "Yo, or. like what is this?" Or like, "What are we gonna do?" I think though, but. Uh, you always notice like in that world they only date each other and there's a reason for that is because they understand that you know mm, like maybe. our actors nah. too that play music. you're wild they'll be dating each other but they you'll see like someone out in the club though feeling up on girls though you got know what i mean well like it's not like they're all of them are always loyal you got know I mean? jay-z cheated no, no, on beyonce no, no, type. no, that, no, no I that's think I not what i'm saying oh, what like saying? yeah yeah Mm-hmm. You're saying like they're more understanding of shit like that, like oh it's just a song, like it's yeah. all a song, oh, it's yeah. music. Yeah, because it's like that's the life they live. Like actors film sex scenes together, but they go home to their husbands, their wives, and their children. Like it's there's a there's a different understanding for those people, and there's only certain types of people that are made for that kind of yeah. life. Yeah, and like if you can't date a rap, if you're not if you don't have tough skin enough to date someone like that, then yeah. just don't date a rapper who's gonna. Um, don't date Bryson Tiller then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bryce. Wow. You Sorry. fucked up your life, man. <laughs> like, jeez, like I, would, I could never. I definitely don't have like tough enough skin yeah, to do yeah, that. There's no way he's finding a girl. Yeah, no unless, it's nice. unless it's his yeah. ex. Unless it's his ex. Wait, doesn't ass. he have a wife and a kid? He has a kid, I think. I don't know if he has I a wife. I think he has a wife, y'all. <laughs> look it up. No, Can we look it up? I was gonna say real quick. Um, did you see that uh podcast that Penn Badgley did talking about this? No, but I love Penn Badgley. He, he went. Penn Badgley's the main uh, actor. actor in You, the show You on Netflix. He went on. Um, he has a podcast, and he said, "Sorry, what, does he marry?" Um, no, he's in a relationship with Kendra Bailey. She's fucking gorgeous. By Since the way. when? I don't know who that is. Um, twenty eighteen. Oh wow. Hmm. Um, I think she's a model. She's oh, who did beautiful. he date before Kendra? Mo- Ke- uh, Good yeah. question. Who's the ex that he's writing about? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I think we. I think the world needs to know. We need to know. Oh, Imagine like being the ex, you probably feel like the shit. The no, for real. That's like when The Weeknd says something about Bella Hadid's um, head or something. Oh, like, I feel like the, the shit. Wait, what? What Bella Hadid mean? gave The Weeknd head? Some, he, like, talked about Bella Hadid's head and how yeah. it was fire in one of his songs. I I'm going to pull up the lyrics. her actual head, not, not the action of it. Doesn't say, huh? Wait, Nick, but what did Penn say in <laughs> oh, the um, podcast? So, basically, he was talking about how in... Because he has a wife, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, the ex-girlfriend is Marky Bivens. Let me see a picture of her. Shout, shout out to her, because... Damn. No, go ahead. You, you had this right man now. singing like that to you? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, shout out to you, because that song is insane. Because, yeah. wait, Sean, <laughs> Sean when did song. he release that song where he's like... She's winning. That whole album was 20, 2016-ish. 2016, 2015. 2015, 2016. Yeah, the whole uh, with the exchange. Uh, yeah, trap soul, right? Okay, I have a question. I have a question. And then I'll go back. I'll go back talking about Penn Badgley. Okay, if you ha- if you were dating somebody, okay, and they became this crazy artist, like musician, right? And it's all about, all they do is make songs about like how bad their ex was, like Adele, right? Or something like that. Like just talking about how shitty their ex was and they're famous, famous. And it's all because of you. Would you feel like you're the shit? Or would you kind of be like, damn, maybe I was a terrible person? You know? <laughs> okay, no, it depends. Think about it. Because Adele, like, that's some sad shit. Yeah. So I'd probably be like, I'm a shitty human. Like, yeah. You know what would I mean? You actually? Adele is some sad shit. Yeah. 
So though. what would you think? You made her career though. You made their career. Yeah. No, but Adele, like, okay. I, I'm saying it depends on the artist because Adele, like, that's some like slow, sad. Like, she really been through it, you know. And you're the reason why. Amazing. Yeah, so I'd be like, I'm a fucked up human. <laughs> like, what about Olivia Rodrigo? That whole fucking album. That I blew hate up. that album. Wasn't it okay? It's because of that guy. The, but wasn't the that guy, guy? Wasn't that guy gay though? Joshua Bennett. No, I think out. he came out as he came out as bi. I think. Yeah, he's. Or he bi. came out saying something, but she literally <laughs> blew up. <laughs> Wait, what? <are> you <laughs> came out saying something. Some about his like whole thing. Joe's but, like, it's not about uh, gender. It's not uh, about. <laughs> <laughs> You know I didn't watch that part. So, so many people dude, sent me that part. I watched part. that part so many times. I watched times. it over and dude, over so again. Many, dude, yeah. so much, like, you know how Run on circles. your DMs like, it's a blurred image? Yeah. So like, I never clicked right this. Right. I don't know what it was. But someone was like, Who let him cook, bro? So it was like, I love you in the podcast. And they sent that clip with like a, a voice that makes your voice all show, like up and down. And it was like, I couldn't watch it. I literally, I can't watch shit like that. And that's why I'm surprised I could even do this. Olivia Rodrigo, though, when she came out with the album. She blew up because of him. Yeah, because exactly he broke her heart. Like she made some banging songs that like she won awards. No, think about Oscars. Taylor Swift. Yeah, but Taylor Swift, like eight different dudes made her songs though. There's Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, no, no, there, there was. There was Jake Gyllenhaal. But, uh, no, no, no. but every single album is about a guy that broke yeah. her heart. Yeah. And like, what about the guy she's with now? Like, she's wait, Taylor Swift? Mm -hmm. Who's she with right now? She's been dating this like British actor for like a couple years, I think. Gosh, but like, her stars. albums are still apparently about Jake Gyllenhaal, according to the Swifties on the internet. So like, Swifties. the Swifties would know. Wow, they would know. Jake I'm scared of the Swifties. He's that guy, the yeah, not the night crawler right there. Swift. 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 South Park right there. Yeah, South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah He's yeah. a tough guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? So, so what, what are you what are you gonna think? If your ex makes a giant career off of just how shitty of a boyfriend you were. Shitty? Yeah, like like not even like I just that. broke her heart, like not, shitty. Literally, like her whole thing isn't <laughs> her is it it's not about her being like I miss him or I'm sad. It's like it's like I'm back outside music, like city girls music See, about what, oh, about uh, hating you. Uh, I was trying to make that point where uh, it's like Adele is like that, like you broke me. Yeah, Take yeah. it easy. Uh, you know? So like person. I'd be like, I'm an asshole. But it was like we outside would be like, yeah. Yeah, maybe you I know, make I, a good decision hurting her. Is what? that what you're thinking? Like maybe maybe we should have broken up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But if it's a Del singing that, I'm gonna be like, what did I do to her? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the same. You know what? You got a point. You got a point. But she's so like she wouldn't do anything though. If, Who? Like Adele wouldn't do anything if you didn't break her, broke her break her heart though. You know what I mean? Like she would just be your girlfriend. You she's know what I mean? Talented, like yeah. I think she would make music. Just artist, like, you think like, she'd be? You think Adele would be as big if she wasn't singing about heartbreak? Yes. She has a nice voice, but no. No. Oh, I'll say just because of like the, the, the storytelling. The lyrics. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, she yeah. has an amazing voice. Things. I think she would probably be a singer, but I don't know if she'd be as big, dude. Dude, yeah. you got Rolling in the Deep. You got uh, okay, Fire the Set by the Rain. The thing love is, song, though, Turning Tables. Every single person on this earth experiences heartbreak. Hello? That's the thing. It's well, just like, Adele <laughs> has this way of like, like writing <laughs> her lyrics in yeah. a way that is just so relatable and understandable oh, that has that nothing to do with the guy that broke her heart like he's just a fucking I think he dick does. am i tripping I, I, I think, think not about the guy but about the heartbreak and the yeah. emotion she yes. felt going through yes. that specific i think she had to go through that to yeah. make that music yes i think if adele is a 10 out of 10 if she never got her heart broken i think at most she would be a seven or eight okay. i agree with that but i'm saying it has nothing eight. to do with the guy that broke her heart like yeah well, yeah she shouldn't she even be involved in, in the booth. Booth. yeah mm -hmm. it's like you think you can make a heartbreak song heart. without being heartbroken? Yeah. I think I could. You think you can make? A I think I I can make a good song, but then like if I had my my soul really tied to that song, be oh, way yeah. bigger. Oh yeah. Way what if bigger. it's trash? Period. What if what if you're a SoundCloud rapper and you play your girl your song that's just so heartfelt? This is the music is I listen so to while walking through school. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you heard me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think, I think it's, just, I feel like anything like that though. Because you have like to put you, some sort of yeah, like, like, like energy into it, soul into it. Yeah, you gotta yeah. put some soul into it. And she's singing her heart out. Yeah, she is. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, wait, and then we can move on. But I was saying, Penn Badgley. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, he went on an interview and he was telling. I guess he was talking about how he told the uh, producers and the director of the show that in season three he didn't want to do as many like sexual scenes and like intimate scenes because he has a wife and he thought it was disrespectful to her um doing all these like scenes even though it's just acting mm -hmm. so he actually told the director that and the director was like you know what like i understand you like you, that's why there's not as much uh like sexual like scenes and intimate scenes with him in season three so i mean see like, like that's respectable because like i i mean like okay i understand like people saying like it's a job but like you take the job 
that's this is why like i have like this is why i could never date like a porn a porn star you mm. know like i could i i don't think i could ever do that because it's just like i it's not just a job to me like when you know like shit like that is involved like even with like actors doing yeah. like naked scenes together i'm yeah. like come on now it's like i'm like yeah you know like i wouldn't be comfortable with my husband doing that my yeah. partner doing that yeah, yeah. question who here is watched Grown Ups? Okay, you know how like those are Adam Sandler's movies. Mm -hmm. He picks his wife, right? But his wife is always in the movies. Yeah, I know. What you're so talking why about. doesn't he pick his wife to be his wife? But he picks that lady to be his wife every time, and he like kisses her and stuff. Right? <gasps> Wait, who? Which I lady? forgot about that. Uh, Adam what? Sandler's Ad Adam Sandler's wife is in basically every movie he's in, but she's yeah. never played his wife. Yeah, there's always another lady playing his wife, and she's always beautiful. Have you seen that lady though? <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah. so like, I never yeah, knew so. that. Maybe because she like plays the the role of that other character better. <laughs> That's his excuse, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just does it way better, babe. She just she does plays my wife better than you. <laughs> no, for real. She Wait, she's for literally the wife. She should have chemistry with him anyway. Yeah. So like. Yeah, that's a. I just thought about. I don't know why that hit me like a fucking. Damn, I didn't think about that. Truck right now. I didn't think about that. You take major offense to that. I would be like, yo, if I'm in the movie, hey, baby, you want to be in this movie? Yeah, but you're not my husband. <laughs> no, it's gonna be Jason yeah. Momoa as my husband. I'm like, oh, yeah, imagine that. You're gonna play her husband. <laughs> no, yeah, it's like asking your boyfriend to hold the camera while you fuck someone else. Damn, that is oh, wild. Shit. Oh, her self-esteem must be out of the world because. Jesus Christ. I mean, he don't be doing nothing crazy. Nah, he don't be like, he don't be sexes yeah. or anything like yeah. that. But they do be kissing and stuff. But like beautiful women, you know, every time. Sorry, yeah. beautiful women. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my fault, my fault, my fault. Damn, that is crazy. Um, but yeah. I can't even do like an open relationship with like that. You don't think you could uh, date an actor who's doing intimate scenes? I feel like I would get super jealous. How would you? What's that guy in Euphoria? Um, do you find him attractive or no? Which one? The, the, the main oh, guy. Oh, the neat guy? L L Roy or one? something like that. The, yeah, the What's tall kind of bad. He's a bad person. Um, do you find him attractive? Yeah. You find him attractive? Attractive, Would you date him? but not ten out of ten. Um, Let's say that attractiveness. Would you date him? Um, Madu, he's like six four. He's tall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meets the standards. I'm, he doesn't oh, play in the NBA. He though. is a very. Hey. <laughs> is he light skin? He's actually an actor. No, he's, he's white. white. He's white. He's white. He's very fine. Not I would if our first personality smashed. Yeah. Do you think those girls are very pretty that he has? Hell, with? Alexa Demi. Oh my God. Yeah. And oh, Zendaya. Sydney, Sydney Sweeney. Sydney. Yeah. So would you be very, very jealous and like, would it really kill you inside? That's a job. I don't know if it would kill me, but I would be jealous. jealous? Oh, absolutely. I would be <laughs> very jealous. How jealous would you get though? Probably send the guy a death threat or something like that. <laughs> you, show, you, show, you show up on set. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel... Uh, I'm very confident in who I am, but... Yeah, I'm not. It's, it's like... It's like <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, when it comes to stuff like that, I'd rather just not be, That's like... So I'd rather not put myself in that situation. There's like, so many other people out yeah. there in the world. Oh, Why would but I? I really want her, though. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I was thinking though, bro? I was thinking about the same thing, like just theoretical, like situation like this. Yeah. Imagine dating somebody like an actor, and they win like best kiss. You got know what I mean? And like, oh, you, got, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Like they win like, best kiss. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then on on stage, on stage, everyone's yeah. like, kiss, 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 oh, kiss. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Like, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, someone fact check me. In the Notebook, I'm pretty sure they won best kiss. They won best kiss, and yeah. he was married to Eva Mendes already. Oh, she's very wow. pretty. I'm, and I'm pretty sure they like made out on stage. On stage? Ryan Gosling's married to. You didn't know that? Yeah, he's married to. A I told you that. Why do these white guys keep winning, bro? Are you dead ass? Yeah, he's married to Eva Mendes. She's fucking beautiful. And I like, I told you, bro. I told you this, and and you didn't have you had no reaction. I don't know what I don't know I what when they got married though. So I don't know for sure like when that they, kiss happened. They made happened, a movie together. But they like made fucking made out on stage when they won Best Kiss. Oh no! Nah. There's a video. She comes of that. back to the seat. <laughs> That's my <laughs> guys. You know, um, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga in their oh, movie A Star Is Born. That I would be jealous. Did you of. see Wait, when they, they did the, the performance and everyone was the like, cover? "There's chemistry and everything." That was the way they were looking at each other. I'm like, "Oh they my were, god!" They were mad close and too. Bradley Cooper had a had a wife at that time. Imagine you pull up on set and you're watching her in a scene. 
<laughs> like a sex scene. <laughs> Again. That's wild. How could you do this? <laughs> Could you do this to me? She's acting. You don't get it. <laughs> you know that Pam, Pam, is Pam Lee her name? The documentary? Pamela Anderson? Pamela Anderson. You know that her husband, or Tommy Lee at the time, showed up on set. She was doing the, the original, what's that original show about the beach? Um, Baywatch? Teen, teen Beach movie. Baywatch. Baywatch. And she didn't so tell like, him about a kiss scene. And she like had a kiss scene with a guy and he was on set and like he freaked out. And he no bro- way. like broke everything in the dressing room and shit like that. Because he was crazy. Yeah. See, that's, like, not an acceptable reaction. You're dating Tommy Lee. You got to understand that. <laughs> yeah, that dude's, Tommy that dude's a Tommy Lee is fucking bro. insane. Yeah. Like, <laughs> shh. Oh, Let's I not have... blame Pamela Anderson for dating Tommy Lee. Oh, no, no, no. I, don't blame, I don't blame her, but... <laughs> Who's Tommy? Uh, but Pamela Anderson, Tommy Lee. She's so musician. sweet. Uh, the documentary, she's super she's sweet. She's very, yeah. She seemed very nice. Yeah. But, like, I also feel like um, <laughs> if you're going to do a, a sex scene or a kiss scene, you I should at least again. let your partner know, no? <laughs> yes, 100%. Right? Like, there should part. always be communication no, before. I don't know, like... She definitely overreacted, but, like, if that happened to me and, like, I went on set and... They were they kissed without me knowing. Out. I would be really mad. Yeah. One, yeah. one question. I'm gonna ask you you two this personally. Okay. Who, who them two? two. I just have to ask. Mm-hmm. Are you guys very professional enough in your friendship and everything that you guys could do a kiss on camera? Just knowing. I would it's be fake. laughing way too hard, bro. I think I would seriously try, <laughs> but I think that he just would not look natural. Like it has to be. It's like okay. It's like someone coming in like, hey, we need to. We want this podcast to go up. Blah blah. We need to stage something. We need you guys to kiss. I there's, can't. There's, 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 <laughs> I mean, I would be I, laughing, the bro. Big, there's big like, money on the Yeah, yeah. There's big like money. Million dollars. Okay, a million dollars. I think I could. A million dollars. I could. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say they're gonna give you each 100k like straight out the bat, okay, and you know the views are gonna skyrocket. Okay, let's make it more interesting. 100k, and we have to do it on the first try. <laughs> no, I, and, and like no, they come in here. They're like, you guys need to do everything like normal, and you guys actually have to show like chemistry and kiss. It's not just like, oh, you kiss her. It's like, I, no, you I have to like genuinely. Okay, 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 buddy. All right, okay, 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 buddy. We get it. You know, a simple no would do, right? You know, why are you dragging it? You don't even drag it. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I was no, man. You look disgusted right now. <laughs> no, you didn't let me. Yeah, I'm disgusted too. I don't want to do it either. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it either. He's like, just make it more like, like that, right? We, we both said no. Why are you tripping? But listen. A million dollars. Just kiss him. <laughs> no, but like realistically for a million dollars, I would do it. No, I'd, but you gotta, you gotta make it look good. You gotta make it look good. But like, I will say, it would be super hard for me to do it, genuinely. Even if money's on the line. No, not like that. Like, trying to make... You guys are trying to make me look like a bad guy again. No, like, no, like, no, 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 no. First you reject my flowers when we were in junior high, and now you can kiss me for a million dollars? Nick's crying. A million dollars? No, I would do <laughs> Nick, I would make the Nick, fuck out Nick, with a million dollars, bro. Hey. Respectfully, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I would kiss him for a meal. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm just saying it would like genuinely be hard for me to like try to be sensual and like sh- try to have like chemistry there. That part, it will yeah, be yeah. very hard for me. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it will be very hard for all of you too. <laughs> what, if, what if Nick gives you that whole like smile thing? <laughs> <laughs> like that whole like, like that I do the lean, I do the lean. I'm like, so, I, we got a kiss in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, hey, I would you do, with you. You did the dead eyes. I think too. I think I'd be uh, nah, no way. I want to know. Could you? So you said no, or could you do it? You could do it. I could do it. I could do it. But do it. I don't know if I could do it in one in the first take. No, no, no. You, you gotta get I mean? as many takes as you want. But you just, could do. I would it. be laughing, bro. I would just it? be laughing. I would be laughing too. I'd be laughing my ass off. I'd pay 100k right now if I had that money. Yeah. You see that? Because I would be, the I would be thing in the world. grossed out though and saying you and all this though. <laughs> I never said ew. I said it'd just be very, like very hard for me. Yeah, it'd be very, very Nick, hard stop, for me too. Stop projecting your Yeah, no, no, no. It'd be very hard for me too. I literally never said that. I literally never said it either. <laughs> it'd be very hard hey, for me too. Sebastian, roll the tapes back. Oh my god, that's so funny. I know I didn't me. say ew. Oh, it's the next word anymore. No, you were, you were oh. making it seem you're like, oh my god. She's like, oh, kiss Nick? <laughs> Ugh. Guys, j- just no, my we're friends. Just, we're just general, messing around. We're just my messing friends, around. Just, like any of you guys. <laughs> we're, we're just messing we're around. Just we're just messing why do you guys just like point it out? You know, this, I this, just, you, guys you have, made it worse on yourself friendship. because I literally never said you and you made it seem like it was about you. I literally just said I wouldn't and then you were like, wow. And then you went crazy on me. Like, I never Wait, specifically so was talking always, about you. Like, do you think, okay, serious question. <laughs> do you think uh, it'd be so easier good. if you had to have chemistry with like Christine for a kiss than like one of the guys? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I would. Really? I would, I would kiss Christine oh. for a hundred thousand. Fifty bucks. No, <laughs> not that. Honestly, Christine, I would literally make out with you for like 
<laughs> if we each get paid a thousand, I would do it. Yeah, I'll do it. There's a thousand in your business bank account right now. Okay, you want? I mean, I would. <laughs> First of all, I would only if Christine wants it because she has a boyfriend. Nah, y'all can get way more money. Y'all can get way more money. You can get way more money. You can get way more money. Nah, I'm totally playing. But you, you're saying that'd be easier if you do like a kissing scene with Christine. Oh, most definitely. Rather than him, than me. Can I please get uh, no kiss? I just want a slight oh, reenactment. Like, of what would go down? No kiss. No kiss. No kiss. I just want to know how the leaning would be. <laughs> it'd be like this. It'd be like this. It'd be like this. This is how we, we see each other on set. It'd be like this. No. Uh, <laughs> we, we got an hour until the big. We got. We got. We got an hour until the the big kiss. kiss. <laughs> the big kiss. So oh until the greatest moment of your life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm okay. so sorry to um, no, it's a good Wait, time. real quick. Sorry, Sage. We keep t- taking all your questions and stuff like that. But I have, yeah, I have no, a quick question. Just, just no, a quick, we're, we're tangenting off. Okay, okay. Yeah. I have a quick question. Um, Do you guys know that girl on TikTok? Her name's like Tara's World or something like that. <gasps> she's been going off on my TikTok recently. Oh, I she's saw mad cringy. that TikTok video. <clears throat> no, she's not a lip-singer. Oh, I thought you guys were talking about that little girl. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Who she like oh, said okay. something super problematic, which is like, she was like, I kiss girls all the time. Like, girls are so much more fun to kiss than guys. Like... Oh. And and then she got upset because her boyfriend didn't like her kissing girls. Yeah. And I, she was just saying some like, she always she just, just says sounded stuff. so stupid. She also jerks off her bird. So like, Wait. oh, I saw that. She's that, that girl. I saw that, bro. Wait, she, what? She sounds say? crazy. I do not. She, like, she makes her bird ejaculate there's a spot the on like birds that you like if you like stroke it or something like that not like the actual spot but like your back like, like something. under there under their belly or something like there's a spot that if you stroke them there like it'll make them <laughs> ejaculate and she was like and she was like really jokingly she i'll show you guys the video later but she really jokingly on the internet goes like yeah like i just I just randomly did it idea. to him and i and like i started and like now he's like addicted to it and he like always comes and asks me to make him do it isn't that animal no, abuse? No, it no. is animal <laughs> abuse. <laughs> I don't know, like, how she's still on TikTok because, like, it's honestly fucking, like, she's insane. Ever since, because I, I know her from, be, be, from being the, uh, I finna be in the pit. I finna be in the pit. That's the same girl. And ever since then, it's just been getting worse and worse. So I was gonna ask, hold on, shut up, man. <laughs> What is going on? Yes. I'm so he was, mimic- <laughs> he was mimicking the fucking bird. Cause she say like she asked or he, right the now. bird asked her to do it. So he's like, do it, do it, do it. Okay, I found it. If you touch a bird, he's also do it. Yeah. She's talking to him in that weird voice. No, yeah, she really? is. Really? <laughs> this girl has millions of really? followers. She says it's funny. Wait, I've never seen her in my life. Why is she talking to it like that, though? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah she, that's what I'm thinking. That's bestiality for sure. Is that is right? Is it? Is can that not be considered like bestiality? I don't know how she's not like arrested for that. Yeah. Or like animal abuse. I don't know. That's pretty fucked up. Wait, wait. So I was gonna ask. So I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask. Cause she was talking about how she was talking about how um what's called her man's got mad at her because she would kiss girls and stuff like that, right? Or something like that. Is he is he mad at her for the bird? I'd be, I'd be like, you're fucking <laughs> pretty more mad about that. I think yeah, I'd be more yeah. mad about that. So I was gonna ask you guys, would you guys get mad if your girl? It, was it like, just depends how if they're like if they're getting it on, I'd probably be like, whoa, 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 whoa. And if she's actively doing it, like every time she goes out, like, oh, like we just kiss. I'm like, damn again. I'm like <laughs> that's like eight weeks yeah, in a row, man. Yeah. You should probably stop going out now. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? I think if it was actively happening and for me to see a video where I'm like, wait a minute. Does it depend if she's a pretty girl? <laughs> Why don't you kiss me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, it, it matters on yeah. the girl being pretty or not, but yeah. if I'm like in a weird state where I'm like kind of 
I would say disrespected. Mm-hmm. I would feel disrespected. Yeah, too. yeah, definitely. Yeah. What do you guys? What do you guys? The girls. What do you guys think? I think that's very valid. Yeah. It's um your guys's boundaries and like the girl should respect it, even if it is another yeah. girl and she's a straight girl. Yeah. I feel like she still shouldn't be kissing um other people. Yeah. yeah, I had a talk with Jason about this. Obviously, like you know, me being into like girls and boys, like it's a conversation we did have, like, and. I told him, you know, like that I have kissed girls like in the past in relationships and those guys haven't had issues with it. But like, I was like, keep is on, he like on. breathing, he just breathing heavy? Yeah, yeah, keep <laughs> on, keep on. <laughs> But I was like, regardless of that, like I want to be respectful of what you um, are okay with. And like his boundary was like, I'm not comfortable with that. And so like, then I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, it's like, just work with your partner's boundaries. Like obviously like be respectful to your partner. Does uh, and people that say like girls that say like oh i'm just kissing my friends like no like i'm like just think about it a little bit like it's more than just that and like you're you're allowing women to just be like kind of sexualized a little bit because like you're doing it to like because you know that other guys think it's hot you know okay. like mm-hmm. i want to say something about that like a disclaimer like um what is, what is that term called? Like gay baiting or what yeah, is it? queer baiting. Queer, queer baiting, yes. Um, some people like girls that make out um with other girls for male validation and attention. That's queer baiting. It is but- queer baiting because it's like, like if I saw a girl kissing another girl and I was single and I was like interested in her and I walked up to her and she was like, oh sorry, like I'm straight. Then I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, oh. okay, but you know, but, like, can I just that- say like when I when I go to bars and like clubs and stuff i do be making out with girls but it's never um for like male attention like oh i want like guys to see this and think it's hot like usually it just kind of happens and kind of for fun but like also i don't know would you get mad you know i don't know the way you're coming off about it it seems well i would i would get a little mad like i'd be like well yeah because it's like to me like that expression of it's a physical expression of affection right like if i kiss my boyfriend in public that's me being like oh i'm with this person if i kiss a girl in public that's oh i'm with this person and so like for girls to be like and i am saying this as someone who used to kiss girls for fun like i used to be that person that did it and thought that there was never an issue with it you know and like now it's like i do see an issue because it's it's i don't know it's just it it rubs me the wrong way, you really? know. So even if it's like, like, like even when you're like alone with the girl and you're like you just like do a little makeup just because she asked. <laughs> <Girls just laughs> like, have fun. Not, yeah, just like just fun, but like not <laughs> not for like male attention. Like it was never that for me. That still rubs you the wrong way. Do you feel like Maddie? You're making out with girls because you think it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Now I feel like. Then you- <laughs> Wait, just real quick, just to clarify, just to clarify. Um, are you saying that, like, to you, you kind of feel, like, disrespected, in a sense? Not, like, disrespected, but it's, like, for the longest time, like, yeah. women that actually loved each other couldn't kiss each other in public, you know? And, oh, so now it's... And it's, like, and now it's just, like, this, like, overt display of, like, haha, like, it, it, it guys think it's so hot, like, But, like, you what know? I'm saying is, like, some girls just don't do it for like male attention I know, you but know? it's like i feel like some people just you need to be more conscious of it because guys think it's hot like nick just said like nick also when you said that like i'll pay you 50 bucks to see i Christina. didn't mean it i didn't mean <laughs> it like I, that that was a joke I know. that was a joke i didn't mean it like that nick i know it was a joke but i'm saying it's like there's like this constant sexualization of straight women kissing each other Okay, I get that. I get that. But also, I feel like I'm still kind of discovering myself. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just because. Yeah, Matt, you don't need to put yourself okay. in a box. Like, you don't need okay. to label yeah. it. Just. I just. I don't know. Like. You just like kissing girls. I just. Yeah, like when girls, girls ask me. Right. <laughs> and then. <laughs> so, yeah. And especially if they're beautiful, I'm like, hell yeah, let's make out. Like, Wait, you they, know what I mean? So Wait, they like ask the you? Is it yeah, like the other oh, day. The other day, there was a girl at the bar, and she was she was very beautiful. And, like, in the like she was complimenting me in the restroom. And then, like, okay, I, I didn't make out with her, but I okay, I was like, okay, maybe I should. But like, she asked me if I want to make out, because, like, I don't know. And I was like, I was really drunk, and I was like, but then I said no. I was like, oh, I, I low key gotta go, you know? Okay. But she like, said there, you there, wanna... there, okay, I will say there were times where people asked me, like other girls asked me to make out, and I and I did make out with them. 
I found I found this is from Sarah Shower. She's Brittany Broski's um, cousin. This is her like explanation of it, which I completely agreed with. Can you put it in the mic? What needs to be said has already been said. I mean, this video is actually incredible. It was it's almost like it's scripted. Um, it's like what not to say after what not to say after what not to say after. Wait, pause it. To say you talk, this, is, me this to, is the response to, to Tara's, Tara's world, world, right? Video. About about her saying how she likes kissing girls, right? Yeah, got gotcha. you. Okay. But I think the cherry on top of this, the <laughs> one of the more subtle spits in the face is that you made me agree with this straight man when he was, you know, talking about what it means to be a queer woman. Oh my God. <laughs> like, and this is what her yeah, boyfriend said. To go run errands, my favorite. Like, I've always wanted to like hook up with a girl and like I kiss girls all the time, but I don't think I could ever like date a girl. I've only ever been like emotionally into like men, but I just think girls are hot. Like that's the thing. And it's so fun to like kiss girls, you know what I mean? I think it was like the third or fourth time me and my now boyfriend were hanging out. He brought me to this like event and I saw this girl there that I knew and like we kissed. I kiss all of my girlfriends like all the time. It's just what we do. And he was so excited. Like his eyes lit up. He was like, you can do that whenever you want. It was the funniest thing ever. Like he was so excited. I remember my last boyfriend, well, we never like officially dated, but like we basically were. He was so insecure about that kind of thing i remember i asked him once i was like how would you feel if i like kissed a girl because most guys like love that he got so mad at me like yelling at me being like i can't believe you want to kiss somebody i was like no not in that way like I just figured i'd ask like he was kind of crazy and like to each their own he's not crazy for asking that by the funny. way i was like you're lying to me right now like most guys like love that he did not um <laughs> but yeah i would never like hook up with a guy for my of like even if i didn't have a boyfriend i just wouldn't do that especially if i have a boyfriend i would if like i was like dating the person but i don't think i would just like hook up with some dude but girls are different because they are magical and perfect everyone's always like how can we never see the right side like of your face like i'm old this makes me look kind of bad now but like <laughs> damn i mean i honestly looked at it from your side i didn't think that i never thought about what she said because I saw, like, you were, like, not really annoyed. Yeah, because but as a like, straight <laughs> person, you don't understand that yeah. experience. Like, That's why when you said that. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, I didn't see it from that perspective. Yeah, I never okay. saw that. I just thought, like, girls just, like, having fun. No, kissing it's each other. just, it's, to me, like, now, like, I regret all the shit. You know, I wish I never did that, but I did. And it's just, like, to me, it just seems, like, very, I don't know. At least the girls that I that I saw it doing a lot in college, that I saw it a lot like going out in college were girls that were doing it because guys would like egg a mom and be like, yeah. ooh, like that's yeah. so hot. Like, yeah. you know, like yeah. it was always in that. And like that always rubbed me the wrong way, you know? I, I can see that. I know, I, I never, I never, I never I understood from that. that point of view. Like I always would have thought it from her is just like girls having fun because they want to do that, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. how can how are you gonna see it from that point of view though until you get told you know because we're not in that I'm we're not you, in that world yeah no that I've made, heard now so it makes much sense shit that I'm like that trips me out yeah now it makes sense now it makes sense but you also clarified though too Maria like you're not doing it in front of guys like we're not you're not no. going to a function every time full I of dudes. made yeah. out like you guys weren't even there yeah no like, that's what I'm saying so I would I wouldn't figure it like in that sense where it's like doing it for male validation but I don't know everyone like tease their own like everyone's just different I will say though um that kind of opened up my eyes too just because like even if I guess I'm not doing it for like male validation and even if I'm just having it doing it for fun I should be more aware of the fact that um people in that community like LGBTQ community like they get shitted on still to this day for doing stuff like that in public especially so like I should be aware of that yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know. I see both sides of it. Like, yeah, I, I see. I see, see half and half. I see. I see how a lot of girls could do it for the validation. Like, there is people that do that. I'm not saying every girl like that, but mm -hmm. clearly, like, if you go to like a sorority, or, like a party, or anything, like we've seen our fair share of that. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. I also get it. Like what Maudie's speaking, where it's like, I just do it to have fun. Like, fuck the guys. Comp know, completely I'm respectable. Guys. No, because no, no, that's completely Maddie, respectable yeah. though. You're doing it for I, you, like. And yeah, I and I understand that. because like, obviously, like with um experimenting and like figuring myself out you know like it happened for fun it happened because i was like oh i just want to see where this goes yeah. you know like and that is like okay because that's you like exploring your own like sexuality i think that's okay like when it's it's like you and a girl together like in a room like being like, let's make out. Like, that's fine because, you know, you're doing it for each other. You're doing it for yourself. No one's there to, like, be a speculator. Does that make sense? Yeah. Especially, like, if there's 
like straight men in the room to like watch exactly. then that's when it's like that's um, when it kind of irks you yeah, yeah. Gotcha. but it's like i never thought of like men looking at me and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna do yeah, this so they get like interested watching. like nah but they're still watching you know like you might think like oh no guy's watching me when i just kiss my girlfriend in the mm-hmm. club they're watching i have a question i have a question for you the way that you're talking about it so if girls are going around like kissing each other at the bar and they're just like oh we're just having fun does that annoy you or no like they're like I just, I'm just obviously, having fun. Obviously, like it's not like a huge. I'm not gonna be like ugh and like walk out of the bar every time. You're like, just gonna I'm, be like side eye. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little side eye because it's like oh that's a little weirdo behavior, you know? Like yeah. Wait, I'm confused on this topic. Why? Why? I don't, I don't know. Because you keep thinking it? about the bird. No, no, no <laughs> you're no, not no, paying no, attention. No, no, that's not why. Why? What are you confused on? Because like, um, from I like I see it from Mario's standpoint, which is like. Like I don't get how like that's like the guy's fault, like because they're watching. Like, like, no, 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 that's not. No, 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 no like am i like i think it's not not her fault that guys are watching that's what i'm saying like she's doing her own thing she's doing her own thing so like um and i and i know that she's doing her own thing and that's okay but like just to be more aware of that that like sometimes like in certain situations like it's just it's just not okay to like or like just be more careful yeah like i don't know but like you know okay you know christine like sometimes we say like guys should be more affectionate with each other like it's not weird if like it's not weird if like I don't think it's weird if like you guys kiss each other on the cheek when you guys are rolling or like I don't know just like having a good. I've like, never kissed this man in my life. Okay, I've, I've, I've kissed you. I've, I've seen it, like some there. of my guy friends like kiss each other on the cheek and I always thought it was cute, but like cool. yeah, but they're kissing on the cheek. But like, have you seen guys like kiss on the mouth as friends the way girls do? We all kiss each other on the mouth. The way girls do. Not like the way okay, girls no, do. No, 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 like, no. like how girls do. That's <laughs> not crazy, but no, no. So we a, guy, a guy showing that affection gets you to look? <laughs> no, not to look. It's not like, oh, shit, like I'm getting horny. Like, no, never no, that. Not like that. No, oh. but just, just like you pay attention. Like, you're like, oh, that was cute. Or like the way Just kind of like that. if you guys kissed while we were out partying and like just having fun, I'd be like, oh, my God, that was so cute. You know, like, just like. Hmm. <laughs> Stop talking look at me well, yeah like i'm not gonna think of that as like them queer baiting but it's okay. like i'm i guess this is what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to say like um i think i'm just trying to compare with that like when i do have fun with girls in that way or like get like kind of you know like making out with them it's just kind of like i don't i don't see I it as me like queer baiting there's just a very great there's a huge gray area there's yeah. a super super yeah. fine line mm-hmm. and like I think you doing whatever the fuck you want with your body is yes. what you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yes. I don't give yes. a shit about what you do. Kiss whoever you want. But I'm saying when you're like, because I've seen some girls like full on tongue down each other's throats and they're straight. And their boyfriends are watching them. That's and I know all of you guys <laughs> have, have seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. Yeah. And it's like that's wild. that type of shit is like, what? isn't that going over that thin thin line that I'm talking oh, yeah. about is going over? So that's what I'm saying is that's when it's like queer baiting, and it's like that's when it rubs me the wrong way. It makes me uncomfortable because I'm like, why are you doing that here? Like, yeah. get a room, go to the bathroom if you want to make out with her that bad. Yeah. So it's when they're doing it for attention. That's yes. when it's queer and baiting. like I okay. feel like everyone can tell when someone's doing it for oh, attention. They're all sloppy, Most hidden definitely. people. They're slo- exactly. Yeah, 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 You yeah, know, yeah. you know exactly the type of people I'm talking about, yeah. and that's the type of people that I have the problem with. I don't have problems with friends like kissing each other, like a quick peck here and there, like "Hey, I love you," like "Get home safe," like I don't have any issue with that. That's just you showing love and you showing affection. Yeah. It's that like. It's that weird area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. I understand what you're yeah. Yeah. Totally get that. That's yeah. No, I get that. I think, like I said, I, I like how you said it too. It's just kind of like open my mind up. I mean, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. At all. And you should, like Christine said too, like if you you should be able to do what you want to do. But I think she has a point. Just be aware. I guess. Yeah. Is the thing. And now you know. You know. Now yeah. you know. 
Um, yeah, and if you're like, if you're a straight girl and you're kissing your f- girlfriend and you're like, ooh, I kind of want this to go further, maybe go to the bathroom together and yeah. ask her, you know, like, do you wanna go to the bathroom with me? Yeah. And then continue that there. Yeah. Oh, so you're just saying <laughs> be more aware. Like when you're, I, yeah, or like or if you like, really want to kiss somebody, just you know, they, go I somewhere else. You guys are like arguing different points, dude. No, that's why I was like, wait, like I see Madu's side. No, no, it. it's. It, I think there's. They, ha- they both have like they're sides like, too. And, yeah. and I think Madu was just trying to understand. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to understand. I think we're both like agreeing to the yeah. same thing. It's just like I'm trying to put it out there that um, I guess like I'm not doing it for attention. Basically, yeah. like if you're not doing it for attention, then like I think it should be fine. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm yeah. saying that it's very obvious what kind of people are doing yeah. it for attention. I never thought about that, honestly, like ever. It's a good so, thing you bring that up, though. It yeah, is a good that thing. Is such that like a, I feel like, like nobody really thinks about that. Well, yeah, because yeah. I mean, I think about it. So, like, I'm sure other, like, other people think about it too, you know. Yeah, huh? I would. Be, I mean, like, in I your standpoint, like pissed, I'd be. Pissed, I mean, like, I would be pretty mad if if I was like, in your shoes of being somebody that is bisexual and then going out, not being able to express yourself that way, and you see people do that. It's kind of like. You know yeah, I mean? or like you've gone like all these years where you yeah, couldn't, and then I, now I've been yeah oppressed and or is that right? That yeah, word? where I felt like I haven't been able to be myself, yeah. but I see these girls doing it. doing you know it like yeah. blatantly. I so totally it's like that. it that that's when it just like rubs me the wrong way, you yeah. know. I got you. I got you. That makes sense. I don't know. To me, like when girls like rub up on me, sometimes like it makes me feel violated. Maybe it's because yeah. like I think it's because you like. I girls. also am into girls, yeah. but like I, didn't I don't. Know you liked girls. I don't. Oh, I, I, I talked about it like a, on the podcast when we were still filming out there. And yeah. I don't really like, shh, I don't, I don't know. It's not really like, really yeah. It. But it's, um, I don't know, like just sometimes girls will get drunk and they'll be like, oh my God, yeah. Christine. And they'll be like hugging me and they'll be like, oh my God, you look so good. And they'll be like grabbing my butt, like touching my yeah. boobs. And I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I understand that she's <laughs> drunk, but I'm yeah, like, I, I don't, be- <laughs> I don't. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> okay, yeah. It's oh, it's the same thing as a guy putting his hands. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was gonna say. So that's like the way you think of it because yeah, you, you like both genders. So you're like oh, the way they're touching yeah, yeah. you. You're kind of like it's the it's, same exact. It's thing the as same the guy exact thing. You. And yeah. like girls are just w- girls are just way more like friendly and touchy that yeah. way. And yeah. like it's it's hard because, sometimes. Oh. And like that's where that Spain line gets knowledge. that's where that line gets blurry because it's like straight girls doing that to me and I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I should like touch him back, kiss him back, because then what if they're like, Oh, she like she tried to make an advance on me. Yeah, you know? Okay. No, no, no. No, and I, then no, it gets yeah. like it's like, oh, like I'm the pr- I'm I'm the person that's in trouble now. Yeah. Like <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Yeah, I never I never even thought about that shit. Okay, that's yeah, wild. Like, <laughs> okay, now I'm I understand what they were talking about. I thought them two were arguing their points no, and I was like, I no, see both sides. No. Well, but, kind of, I guess. Just cause no, because I get, I get what you were saying. I was confused on what Christina was saying, but I get what you were saying where you're like, I do it for me, like, fuck the guys. And then she, I, I thought she was countering that by saying, like... Well, um, kind of, because she did say, like... Like, saying, like, well, guys are looking at you, so it's your fault. I thought that's what she was implying. Oh, no. And I was like, oh. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. That's why I was like, like, what the fuck? I but think she just worded it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She just worded it No, I, like, I don't think I just understood it, right? But, like, I didn't notice, though. We are talking about um, women feeling violated. <laughs> I thought it was gonna oh, yeah. Is that what it was? Um, Kind of, but, like, also yeah. women feeling like they can violate people sometimes like when they're drunk i've seen a lot of girls get very touchy with guys even though they're like telling them like no like and you know what's really shitty yeah and when you're the guy in that standpoint you don't want to look like the asshole like i've been in situations where i've been like like groped on and kind of just like like yeah touched in a way where i'm like yo like if i say like get off me or like something like that then i'm looked at like, look like, the, like the bad yeah. guy because like I, it's, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a male in that sense and i like a bar or like a club like someone's gonna be like yo what the fuck like why are you why are you with this girl i'm like yo like honestly i did not want that's that that's what i think like if you have a reaction like that it, and then yeah. the girl goes like oh my god and all i think is like some dude's gonna come behind and yeah. think you're like yeah. assaulting her or something or like that's her friend and they're gonna get down with you that's what i think sometimes yeah and i've seen it happen a lot with my own eyes i'm like oh like that's you know and then i could see the guy is very clearly uncomfortable but he's in a situation where he doesn't know what to do he's like oh fuck like should i push her like he can't even like you know so i see it happen and i feel like no one really talks about it even like my friend who used to who he works as a security guard um at a bar but he yeah, says said that. yeah but he says like um literally every night there's girls like just groping him just oh, yeah, and yeah. just like all up on him like touching his waist and everything mm-hmm. 
and um they think that's okay and i feel like no that's not okay yeah. just because you're a girl you guys like please respect people's you know yeah, yeah. boundaries yeah. I, I feel yeah. you sage on that one um we've gone like uh, actually i don't want to say it but uh like there's been times where we were together and like i was like i was super uncomfortable and i couldn't like react Right. because i didn't want to look like i was like the aggressor mm-hmm. so like all like i feel like all you could do as a guy run away it's either just be like like i can't like be like stop <laughs> you know yeah but i could like the only thing i'd say is like i got a girlfriend or like mm-hmm. just like look away and like try to move away yeah. but like it's so fucking hard um to just like you can't snap in the moment even when it makes you that angry yeah but i feel like the girls can yeah. They could just be like, like, get the fuck off me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I don't think that's ever going to change, if I'm being honest. But it's I don't like, either. slowly. Yeah. I mean, slowly, hopefully. But it's like, yeah. I understand it at the end of the day, too, because, you mm-hmm. know, girls are, they can't really defend themselves if they're in that situation. So, yeah. It's good that people react that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can always step on them, you know? You can always just put your hand I, on I actually yeah. sent him to Nick. Huh? Yeah, I sent him to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll take care of him. <laughs> he does his little wally. He didn't mean to you. <laughs> Yeah, like that one time we were at that that little remember, club, remember? And she, yeah, and she was like, she did just put put her hand on me, and I was like, what little club? The one uh, at Freeze. Uh, yeah. And she was like, she had a girl she with her, and she oh, was like, yeah. hey, like, do you have a friend? And I was like, I pointed at you, and she's and she just as soon as she looked at you, dude, I was like oh Houdini, bro. I fucking like walked around like the other side and I disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, she I, was I don't need usually people, don't I've do. never seen that she asked everybody yeah, around everybody everybody like oh like trying to get with them and she, when she asked me I was like stop Yo, like, that's wait gross. was she the fan no no, no this you, went there. There. Yeah, you went there you went you there, went there. there. <laughs> yeah you went there but I was like what I like, know a girl like that in real life Yo. really dude oh <sighs> that yeah. one girl in New York was like that bro she like manipulated my ass because I thought she was trying to be friendly with me like I thought she was trying to be my friend but she was only trying to be my friend because she's trying to get at all of you guys those Ooh. are the worst type of Ooh. fucking girls and in the oh, entire world. And that's, and that's oh, when I realized I need to be more aware because I always give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I feel like every person is like a good person, but like Emily and Jackie caught on right away. Ooh. Are you talking about... Okay, so there was... The, when we went to New York, we went to one of the bars. You said she was oh. trying to get at you. You said she was trying to get at you. And I was like, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, bro, they to, just go around. Like, wait, wait which bar? Okay, man? let me explain. So... I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, it was at... Um, she um, went with, she had a lot of tattoos. Right. Um, at the, oh, at the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first, the first time we were there. Yes. Yeah. Guys, oh, let yeah, me tell yeah, you yeah. what she was doing though. Like, she was being so nice to me. She was like, "Hey, like, um, like, basically complimenting me, Hella." And she was like, "If you need any shots, like, I'm here. Like, come to me. Like, we got you." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Oh, she's so nice." And I turned to like Emily and Jackie, and they're just like, like, they're not really interacting with her. So I was like interacting with her and then i find out like she's asking me about you guys blah 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 and then later i find out from you guys she was trying to get at all you guys and i was like oh. you know what's crazy emily catches on quick yeah Emily's emily catches on quick her the intuition yeah is... emily catches on quick like i've seen that before yeah i've seen you guys do stuff where it's like wow like, do you even think about that like all you guys you want to talk about here. just like going out in public i think oh. you see people for what they truly are yeah, no, most they, the way they talk to you and i mean i obviously didn't catch that because yeah. i wasn't like doing oh, any of that yeah, yeah, yeah. but like someone will talk to you and you'll you i don't know i don't know necessarily you i feel like more girls or two are very like you guys don't show like mm-hmm. energy or like excited like around certain people i feel like because you know they're using you or Bro, like, not me bad. not Madu. Madu's I'm nice okay, Madu like, putting her arms out and hugging everyone that she sees yeah. i see like the eyes i feel like some of you guys give the yeah. eye like like yeah. that and I'm like oh I, don't know I think we're weird. weary of it I think all of us are weary of it but Madu's just like you know like hi like da 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 you know yeah. just high energy and there's people that um, you kind of tell me like later oh, I don't know about her and then like later I'm like I kind of realize later yeah. and I'm like oh like Nick was kind of right or like even yeah. Emily too I'm like oh okay um, y'all's intuitions are like there same yeah. with Cynthia Cynthia's good at like Cynthia has crazy intuition yeah Yes. Ew. I don't um, think it was gonna move fast. <laughs> um, hold on. Did anyone else have anything else to add? Otherwise, we can keep it going. I was just gonna say, I, I feel like now, I don't like. I feel uncomfortable going out unless it's like you two are there or like one of you two are there. Because I feel like now I just stick with you guys all the time. You, you're in your own world, my my friend. Where even is Nick? Like, we're not leaving. <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but like Sean, you, like we're always on the same time, and like Sage is always with me. Yeah, Nick, like you'll be with like me, and then you're yeah. fucking gone. No, for somewhere. real, and like you're the one who's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who's like, oh, like we need to be back like early tonight. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> stay out too late. This such Yo, a that was you last time, and then he's the one who's like, I'm staying here. Like I was like, I'm gonna take Sage home. He's like, no. He's like, hey, let me let me talk to Sage. <laughs> Sorry guys, no, my no, fault no, no, that no. I just, just have a good time. time with my friends. You're having a good time. No, dude, Did you didn't realize you're, it was you're, legal. Li- you're living life. Yeah, bro. You are living yeah, life. Like, you're single. Know. You're living life. You're doing good. Amen, Amen. brother. <sighs> the singletons. No, get- I didn't mean like that, dude. I'm playing. I'm playing. Um, but okay, let's keep it going. Yeah. Did, so you ask, did you ask any other questions, or did we all go off that Bryce and Tiller thing? And that was it. <laughs> yeah, I think we I asked like two. That was it. You might have. You might have only asked one, my friend. But anyways, keep going. Yeah. No, no, we should still keep it going because like it's an hour. I 20 I think we okay. started out Go so we should still keep going okay. it's nice. an hour 20 right now we still have yeah. the tinder thing so. too next question yeah, keep, yeah. Going, keep going though. um <laughs> I'll go to talk about your favorite manager <laughs> talk about our favorite manager <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> the most beautiful manager <laughs> no he said he said what's the brokest we've ever been the brokest we've ever been oh the brokest the brokest mm. um I've had like negative 75 dollars in my bank account Okay. But let's let's throw some let's throw some things out. I mean, we, I know about yours like the oh, like the, the college thing, did. like where you're like, oh, I, I could get. oh, I would go out with guys to get food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got food from my school pantry. Um, I don't know. I worked two jobs all of college, and I was still eating like that. So, see, crazy <laughs> question. So we're talking about like individual or like family wise. Um. I was gonna say that too, but I was like, oh, maybe I should put that out there. Yeah, maybe talk about individually. <laughs> I was saying individual. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, want to air my family business. Yeah. Okay, true, 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 true. Fuck, I would have, but anyways, <laughs> just because we up now, the so brokest. but not before. <laughs> like thing you've done or like bank account wise? Oh, sorry. I think, no, let's no, do. No, let's do. Supply, let's no. do. Uh, let's just do thing you've done. Okay. I feel. Oh, I feel. Ah, uh, like, no, I can't down. say that. <laughs> Sean, it's okay well, it's to okay. be vulnerable. It's, it's, it's past discrimination. It's just like it's so wrong with me. <laughs> What's the statute of limitations? It's gone. It's gone by now. Sean, it's okay. No, it's Everybody okay. has okay. done. No, like, Sean, what did you do? I just wanted to. <laughs> he stole money out of Boss Purse. No. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, I've done that probably. Are you serious? You've done. No, no, no. I'm just like, ah, man, it's so bad. Sean, we're all so vulnerable. No, no, it's okay. It's like it's it's morally bad. I don't. I don't even. It's not good. The fact that you know it's morally <laughs> bad is enough. What do you say? What the fuck did Sage say to you? Take money out of your parents' purse. Oh, I've taken money out of my Still? purse. Yeah. You did. I forgot about that. I have before. You guys want to know what I used to do? When did I you was, get caught? When I was younger. You I've gone caught, yeah. How'd it go? Yeah, well, <laughs> I got my ass beat. At the, at the, in the front of my house, they have like this coin jar thing. And like once every other day i just stick my hand in there and put it in a hat and run away upstairs but i was little though i was like 12. i was like 12. Your, hat, your hats were big too huh? your hats were big yeah it was like, yeah <laughs> asshole and like my parents yeah. my parents found out they were like oh who's been taking money out of it and they found out they didn't i don't think that, i don't remember them doing anything but they're just like stop taking the money like what's wrong with <laughs> did you blame your sister <laughs> huh no i blame my sister is it like their change jar that they have <laughs> yeah it was just like like my dad would come home after like buying something or they'd buy something with cash and they yeah. put all the change in there yeah i would i took a couple dollars out of that too because i thought like <clears throat> it was they for were... everybody type thing <laughs> yeah no no that's what i thought <laughs> i thought that they were just like no oh like no it. one's touching it yeah. so i was just like i'm gonna grab like two or three dollars to go to target after school yeah no no that shit added up though i think i had 60 bucks by, <laughs> that's like, nice. that's making money I had, man. I had, like, 60 bucks. actually in junior high I stole money yeah. from my parents to buy a vape oh my god in junior, junior high? high yeah <laughs> that shit was popping in junior high we well i had a i had a mod yeah. Um, yeah, I remember that shit. Oh, you had the big, you had the fucking, I had a mod, you had the pistol. Yeah, I was like yeah, 13. Yeah. And then, like, a month later, I, like, cried and I cried to my dad and confessed. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I had, a, a good I, had a, I had a vape mod when I was, like, no, I, 14. Like, what? Yeah, I, freshman year. Are those they, like the big bro, ones? Like, yeah, the big ones. Like the OG ones. Bro. Yeah. yeah, the OG Nick ones. The OG ones. Hey, Nick will pull out the shoebox. Open the shoebox. That shoe was Nick, like this, I and you remember, pull it out. I remember you start, Nick's vape. It had zero crazy. Nick. I, I, it had zero had, Nick. Cause I had asthma. <laughs> that shoe was, that shoe was <laughs> this big. Oh, that shoe was, was this big. huge, bro. <laughs> hey, Nick was doing a little smoke. I, I, dude, I did some sick ass tricks, dude. You only had one trick with the, the dragon's belt. breath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah watch <laughs> this. Yeah, it was no, tough. Dude, I think, zero nicotine. Oh man, crazy. I think on a on a Sunday night, 
we while like, we were in school. We had yeah. school the next day, yeah. and he was home alone, and I came over because it was just me and him, and he pulled out that fucking shoebox <laughs> and pulled out the car battery, and we were just doing tricks until we it was cool, went though. to sleep. Green apple was the flavor. Oh, the, the flavors are the best. Yeah, yeah. that was the uh, – those, those were fun. No, no, those wild. were fun. Those were fun. But, yeah, I had that shit when I was, like, 14. Vape juice? Yeah. The green yeah. vape juice? Yeah, the it felt so cool. Bro, that shit was probably better for you than the vapes that you guys do now. Absolutely, but I never thought to – I would – shit myself I dropped, like, I, had that I dropped like 60 on it and I'm telling you now my parents would go to bed and I would just rip, I would take Snapchat <laughs> videos with me sunglasses on ripping yeah. that shit bro shit. it's crazy dude. Yeah. it's crazy dude I got it at, I got it at parks hold on okay okay so I would say bro I can't really say that I was like broke broke because when I hit 17 I got a job and I kept the job and then like I wasn't really paying for any bills I was just paying to go out yeah. But um, you never like like for me I would say um like I'm selling money selling money out of my parents wallet how when about, I was like, like, but Nick, like I <laughs> Nick. yeah this yeah. guy is such a fucking Nick, liar you, you were doing such broke boy activities how are you never broke no, dude, you should like, tell a story about Kyle Kyle convinced this guy that Chick-fil-a was 20 bucks for one meal <laughs> and but I wasn't, and I wasn't the broke money. though I was just I was a dickhead you were scheming I was that, scheming I would scheme I wasn't broke I would just scheme you were broke all your schemes added up and that's why you were never broke was I broke though yeah because you were asking me like eight bucks for gas. And we no, were actually, that is, okay, fine. Maybe we that was broke. Maybe that was broke. No, yeah, actually, was, you know what? I'm lying. Nick, Nick's like, we're I'm not getting home. <laughs> we guys, fucking pull lying. over. You're not lying because one time I thought he was broke because he would always ask people for money, always have people buy him. <laughs> yeah, he was like, can I get a dollar? And listen, <laughs> y'all. Listen, I saw like during that time when he was always asking people for money. I saw his wallet. He had a fat wad of cash in his, his wallet, ones, and I was bro. like. That doesn't make oh, any sense. Like, the math isn't mathing. Just, no, it wasn't ones. It had like twenties in there, and I was like, I was just scheming, bro. Like I was low key an asshole. Like I was just scheming. Like I just wanted money from like any way I could. Mostly, I don't know if it was because I can't remember if it was because <clears throat> I was broke or I just wanted the money. But I would just scheme. Fact. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. So it was bad. I would, I took a lot of money from. <laughs> I think <laughs> did more though. Oh man, I would you... take some. I got checked. I got checked by her man's because I was taking money from her. <gasps> Remember? Oh, oh. dude, that I remember that. I'm gonna bleep out all these names, but like I'll keep talking about it. Like when we were seniors and that juniors, was so fucking funny. I like we did something, bro, and I took like 20, 40 bucks off of her, and uh, came up to me and was like, "Yo, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that I'm dating, now that I'm dating her, like." You can't be taking money from her no more, bro. Like, Dude, I see that you. That guy would have the corniest one line. Yeah, and I, in I, the I started world, laughing, bro. and I was like, what did you just say to me, bro? And he was like, yeah, bro, like, I know what you're doing. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to keep doing it just because you told me. doesn't mean I'm not going to do it anymore. And he's just like, whatever, bro. Remember? Do you remember? He was like, whatever. He was like, whatever, bro. Like, you do you then. I'm just letting you know that I see it. And I'm like, cool, cool. I was an asshole in high school, bro. I'm we not going to lie. We were both assholes. Yeah. 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 Y'all look who were. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I didn't even know you were in high school. <laughs> you were my friend. I gave you advice all the time. <laughs> Anyways, okay, wait. Keep it going, keep it going. What's the brokest you've been? You freaking liar. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh, I mean, I, I you used to liar. steal a lot. I used to steal a lot of stuff. Sean, do you not remember? You know, I never had a like a stealing arc. This one, Clever this arc. one, stealed a lot. Stole. Okay, no, yeah, when I was broke. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. I was oh, broke man. because of a man. Because I was with a broke man. Never be with a broke <laughs> man. Never ladies. be with a broke man. Never. Because uh -uh. with a broke man comes insecure man, oh, and right. also loss of money, and then you're gonna become a broke woman. Anyways. Damn. So. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> why, you, why did you get a job, man? <laughs> um. Because I was relying on the podcast when we we're barely getting paid. Oh, this was recent. Yeah, this, was, yeah. this was recent. I thought you were talking about So, a bitch was school. stealing. And honestly, I'm... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is recent? Yeah. Still much better, right? Okay, okay. This was like six months ago when we weren't getting paid that much. Oh, shit. I, I thought we were talking about like high school or something. That's oh, no, no. Nah, yeah. That's when I... um. Oh, well, like, okay, I'm not going to lie. I was always stealing, especially from Walmart because I was like, fuck Walmart. I'm so sorry. Man, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, big so, corporations. Yeah, yeah, so like it was. I never stole from like small businesses ever. Nah, you're it a good was person. always it was always at the mall or you like guys have been or like Walmart, sometimes Target. But um, yeah, I mean, one time uh, during that time, I I was stealing, and then Nick caught me. Oh, I, I, that. I forgot about that, bro. But yeah. Um, I mean, stealing is like really easy to do, but you shouldn't do it. Are you like ashamed of it or like? Are you no, no, not? no, she's not. She no, misses she's him. She's not, bro. She's not. She misses no, no, the no. thrill. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> no, this is such bad advice, ladies. Um, um. Don't give advice about it. Okay, don't okay, give advice no. about it. Don't do it. 
Don't do but it. But if you were gonna do it, it's all alleged. Yes. Don't do it. This is all alleged. alleged. Let's hope but the also, statute of limitations. I mean, you admitted that it was six months ago, so I don't know how long the statute yeah, of limitations which Walmart is. Was this is all alleged. <laughs> not everything I say in this podcast oh, is true. So you guys wouldn't even know if I'm telling the truth or there not. There you go. There Anyways, you have it. but if you guys need some tips, okay, <laughs> just DM. <laughs> but I'm also kidding. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Okay then. Yeah. Damn, I didn't yeah, know it was because I, I didn't know it was because right of a man now. that you was you was. If I saw you pocket stealing. something and I was with you, I'd say I'd probably like walk away. Dude, I'm telling you that now. I'm weird. telling you now, bro. She does it like a fucking champ. Like I, I never, I didn't even when I when she did it in front of me. Pants open, bro, when she did it, like when she did it, when she did it with me, bro. No, no, bro, bro. When she did it with me, I literally was next to her the whole time, and then we're walking out. And just out of her purse, she's like fucking a magic sack that you could just dip your whole arm into. <laughs> and she just magically just like not even saying what she got. She's like, like looking at things. And I was like, where'd you buy that? She's like, fine. Yeah. She's like, go fuck. taking more and more shit out of her bag. Oh and I'm like, God. when did you take that? It was never super expensive shit, though. It was always like, like $10 stuff. There like, was a lot of $10 yeah. things in that bag. Though. That adds up, though. Shit. That, yeah. that was only me for like a month. And then y'all, y'all hey. gave her what she needed. Hey, be honest, be honest with me. Did you like the thrill? I did like the thrill. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did, oh, but sure. yeah, we got it. <laughs> but I, that's my answer to the question. That was the brokest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Steal, yes. Never steal from Target. That's the one thing. I hope Walmart comments on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Put your yeah, face up on the walls. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, brokest thing you ever done? I think it's just a steal. Like, I. I but also, I was young. I didn't have a job. <laughs> what were you stealing? Though? You were broke when you were like at school. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was. Like, I think I just was bored and went to tar or shit. <laughs> <laughs> I went to somewhere and like I was just like just place so, with the big uh, red. Yeah, like, it's like it looks weird. It's like uh, you probably never heard of it. <laughs> but <laughs> I would get like I'd be so like. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I would, dude, I need. I would. I had an obsession with just having a bunch of earrings and like not wearing them, but I just oh. wanted them all the time. So I would just like, I would get it. And I was so bad at it too. Like, I would look around, take one off, put it in my pocket, <laughs> walk around the store, come back for the other one, get it again. Bro, it was. Oh my bro, god, that shit so scared funny. the shit out of me. I could never do it. I could never. Yeah, do it. dude, I, bro, I it never had that in me, me like bro. ever. That was so long. I can't even tell you how long ago that was. I think it was like fifteen. You used to have that dog in you. I used to have that dog in me. Yeah. Christine, we know. <laughs> was, this your, was, it, was this your college days? Yeah, probably in college. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was hard, man. Christine, I wish I could be like you though, because like how you like use <clears throat> men for um oh. to 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 get food. Um. Yeah. I wish I could. I could. Well, yeah. I was pretty fucking desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think mine was like broke. It was more like greedy. I think uh, like I hated spending money no matter how much it was. Were you stingy? No, no, no. What'd you uh, say? I, what do you mean? What'd you do? Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, remember we used to go to Polar Pop every day? <laughs> yeah. I would like so we used to go to uh, you gas stole when we went to Polar Pop. No, I didn't. I didn't oh. steal. Like no, I'm <laughs> saying it was greediness. Like I wouldn't pay for anything, but like they feel so bad because I never get like a drink or anything. Ninety nine cent drink. I never wanted. Polar one. Pop wasn't even ninety nine cents. It was like seventy five. Like, I think it was eighty nine. Yeah. It was eighty nine. Yeah, so I still don't want to spend that money. <laughs> so he, you, I didn't. You know. or our other two friends would always pay for me, and I'd be like, I don't want to do it. I'll pay for you. All right, I'm down. <laughs> I swear, I got like a free drink like every You're day. You're that friend, the one who's only yeah. down if someone's I, paying I for it. I was just about to say that, bro. <laughs> and I didn't even finish the drinks, but I took like three drinks. And I got sick of it. I was like, oh. yeah. But we were obsessed with that shit, bro. No, like, dude, there, it I made me feel my good God, that dude. you were drinking I, something. With me. I would be like, yeah. oh, but we're gonna throw it away. No, because yeah, I would bro. always, I would bring, I'd always bring lunch, and then they'd get like fucking hot Cheetos and a giant soda <laughs> oh, every day, no. five, four, four or five days of the week, right? And they see me with like my fucking ham sandwich, my grapes, like you know, healthy, and so she'd be like. Bro, come on, just get one. I'll buy one. I was like, all right, bro. So I swear to God, like, majority of that year, I got like free drinks and like hey, chips. We went there. Oh, dude. We and they, so they didn't even much. notice. I was waiting for them to say something. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. I just wanted, I didn't want to be. He just wanted me to tag along. Yeah. That's all me. I wanted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't yeah. care. Damn. What a good friend. I mean, no, it was funny. Thanks, Sage. Yeah, <laughs> welcome, man. Go ahead, go ahead and talk. I'm going to check to see if they're. they're Oh my god. I'm gonna check and see if they're not overheating. Just go ahead though. You can touch them. How can you tell? Um, it, it'll show on the screen. Probably just didn't have money to buy clothes because I didn't really want to work. Like, I could have worked. Work. No, I would just take like my dad's clothes. 
and just keep them for myself. That's oh, probably just. I did that too. Yeah. I have a bunch of rock band tees. Yeah, I'm not gonna say the actual <laughs> thing, but I know you want to hear. It. I do want to hear, it. Sean. Nah, but that's, we, that's probably what I what I did. I might get arrested after this. So, and you still don't want to say it? No, I just feel bad about. My, no, that that is pretty much it. it deals okay. with that. I just told, okay. took my dad. My I would I think I just take my dad out because my dad would buy whatever the fuck he wanted to buy. Mm-hmm. So like I'd ask my mom like oh like in high school I'd be like oh, can I go get clothes? She'd be like no. And I knew my dad was down. Mm. So, like, when she would leave, I'd be like, let's go, dad. <laughs> Me and my down. sister used to do that to That's our not dad, too. All. Yeah, I know, but I was definitely taking advantage of him. But, mm, okay. Because uh, he would buy, like, I could have said, let's buy a new phone. And mm. he would have been like, let's fucking go. Like, at that point, I had to realize that I, I actually had to tell him not to buy stuff. But, yeah, mm. I would take him out and we just buy whatever the hell we wanted. Okay. It wasn't that bad, but I felt like I was taking advantage of him. Pretty okay, bad. I see. You know what I, I was thinking about right now? Do you remember when we almost got into a fight because I was trying to scam Mark and Matthew? At the beach. Uh, <laughs> wait, how'd you try to scam me? Nah, dude. The same, the same shit, bro. The twins. We, yeah. So we were at, we were, we were like, what, juniors? That was, that was our first. That fight. was, yeah, yeah. So we, so we like. <laughs> well, I didn't hear how this fight went though. We <laughs> went to, we were at the beach. Like it was late at night. We went to the liquor store and we were grabbing like waters and snacks. And I was paying, <laughs> and so, and so the twins got like a dollar fifty water, and I was like. Uh, yeah, just shoot me like five bucks, both of you, right? And Sean was like, nah, bro, don't pull this shit right now. And I was like, I was like, don't pull what? He's like, you're not gonna take like their money, bro. It's 150, though, I'm gonna pay you 150. And I don't know if this, I slapped you or if you slapped no, me. So what was it? So I told him, and then he's like, I, I kind of like raised my voice. And he was just like, damn, bro, like, why are you talking to me like that? And I was like, cause I don't take their money. And I turn around and this guy just goes, like, <gasps> oh, oh my head. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, so cause he's, oh my God, bro, I remember. He said something like, yeah, he was raising his voice. I was like, don't, why, why are you getting all mad? And he was like, what, yeah, what'd you say? What was it? I, I think it's probably something like that. Like, and I said, I up. said, bro, chill out. And I was <gasps> like, what? I didn't hit you. I went like this. Nah, you but, gave me a little thump. No, no, no. It was a thump. Uh, like, I hit him like a thump. Like, I probably went like, I probably went like, I probably went like, <laughs> I probably went like this. I went like, I went like, I went like, yeah, whatever, bro. Somebody that's to the back of, to the back of his head. Sean turns around. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Sean, no, no, no. Sorry, Jeff, I'm going to have to do it again. No, no, no. Sean turns around, grabs me by my collar, and like pushes me up against the thing, like pushes me like this. And we were about to throw hands, yeah. bro. Do you yeah. remember? And, uh, and my box like, are you guys joking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I was like, and, uh, dude, we didn't, we didn't talk. Like it was dude, mad awkward. Okay. The thing is, awkward. me and like Luke didn't know the twins. The twins yeah. didn't know Luke. Yeah, Luke was there too. We Luke only, was there too. They, everyone knew each other through me and him. Yeah. So the whole car ride, oh, I remember God. Luke was just like, the song is good. Like, <laughs> Yo. And everyone was silent. And then the next day, dude, we and Nick didn't talk because we, we saw each other every second. I don't remember. But we what had happened. to avoid each other. Yeah. And then Nick like texted me like, dude, you ripped my chain off. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, oh my bad, bro. And like we and I was just like, oh yeah, I'll pay for whatever it was, like, I'll pay you. And then like Nick texted me like, it's okay, man. Like you don't gotta pay me. And I was just like, I'm sorry, like I didn't even do that. Uh, I do remember that. I remember now. Yeah, bro, it was Loki. It was so funny, bro. It was no, that so was, funny. That was that was kinda that was the first was time it. I actually I thought we were actually gonna throw hands in there. <laughs> no, we we're, were, were just like talking shit, but nothing was. Happening. I don't remember what happened after you grabbed my collar. I don't remember like what we were saying to each other. Like if I push you off, I just or remember anything. the last thing you you walked out and you're like, I'm not fucking driving home. <laughs> 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 so I ended up whipping it up. That that was yeah. a funny. That was a funny That's time. That's a good memory. Though. That is a good That's memory. A good memory. That's the only time we ever fought. I think. Yeah. Have you guys ever fought? Like, you guys have never like come close to it. That's crazy. No, no, no. Have we argued? <laughs> that is wild. I think I've come close to fighting all of my like. I think I've come close to fighting Luke and Kyle. Luke wanted to fight me every fucking day. Yeah. First, you guys like, are like the months. parents and they're the ki- like the twins. You know. That's but but I'm just uh, that's a, uh, but I mean maybe because you guys like comment each other so well like we're so like i think you me and luke and kyle and everything like we're also we're so different you know what i mean yeah oh, I okay like, that makes sense you, you guys spend yeah, yeah. every second together i think if yeah. me and nick did that we would kill each other yeah. well we're living together buddy yeah but the thing is you leave me he leaves me alone <laughs> should i buy somebody else no, to live no, with no 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 no, no, no. You, we leave eye. each other alone though like yeah, you know sure, we sure, don't sure, have sure, to sure. really say like you're yeah. pissing me off we yeah. kind of just go separate ways yeah. and then we'll see each other whenever we're done like pissing each other off or whatever it is like i feel like you guys could be together Forever. Hand in hand, forever. forever. <laughs> I'd kill this guy at some point. Yeah. yeah, like you guys can literally stay in the same box together forever. You know what I mean? Like Patrick and good. SpongeBob. Yeah, I guess so. See, I'm scared yeah. of moving with Luke, bro, because me, I feel like me and Luke butt heads all the time. Bro. Yeah, and you're yeah. the you're the little middleman. Oh, I'm making Stop. it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> <Back up. laughs> Don't fight. <laughs> oh my god. 
Sorry, hey, let's go. Next question. Next question. Next question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 156. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, we're gonna keep it going. Cause uh, I think we're, I'm telling you now. I think I hit. It's only nine like, eleven. Yeah, we're chilling. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This one might be a thinker though. Uh, if we, if we, if you guys can't think of anything. How many? How many night. questions do you have, by the way? Left. I got. Oh, he loaded, dude. <laughs> you can hit. You can hit us with the ones that you want to ask. The, what, which one do you want to ask the most? You can ask if it's um, that one. It should. Or we can just go out, go off on a little thing. I just thought of a word they used to say back then. Mm-hmm. Right? Fucking YOLO. Ah. ah! Thanks. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot what you did. Um, <laughs> I had a chance you guys didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> got something, you know? What part of the body is a is a tattoo red flag and design? Ooh. Guy or girl? Let's do guys and girls. All right, let's go. Guy right, red first, flag. Go. No, I don't yeah. say it. I think I saw. I think I saw under the influence say this, but lion, lion with the crown on the peg for a guy. It's a red flag. How do you guys feel about roses? I don't think they're a red flag. But, but you think I, they're too common? They're very common. Wait, okay. too common. Like, if you're going, like, and you're like, like, fuck, what tattoo should I get? And somebody's like, bro, you should get, like, fuck something with, like, roses, like, coming out. I'd be like, yo. <laughs> <going on." laughs> you know what I think is tough, though? I, do th- I, think the, I think the rose on the hand is tough, though. No, I've seen I the do rose not on the like hand. that. I think the rose on no, the like hand that. is tough. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. No, some people, some people can rock it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, like, I don't like the fact that, like, this this part of your hand is just so plain. Like I feel like if it's just a rose right here, I don't know why I don't like that. No. But some people like, get it shaded. Be clean. Be clean has a. Doesn't he have a? I've seen I think he has a rose. I'm I not too sure a, what he I has. I thought he had a face. I don't know. But it's not, it looks cool. That's but I think I think a, to, uh, a rose on the hand would look cool. Um. But, probably like a girl with a four 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 tattoo right on her rib. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. For sure. Also, most of the time probably like, probably a guy with like wings on the back of his <laughs> neck, but like a K on the top. <laughs> Man. Probably like a guy who has like a tattoo <laughs> oh. for his. Parkinson's for his dad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is opposite of red flag. <laughs> Cut the camera's dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let him know that. I'm kidding, I'll I'm kidding. You know, know I love Pete. I love Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think oh I think Your dad's name is though? Pedro? Hmm? Your dad's name is Pedro? No, it's Parkinson's. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> no, I said O oh, and then I realized. I mean Oh my god. I'm so oh, sorry. That was so funny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Really no, no. I just want to say, guys, this podcast completely cures my depression, my yeah. Monday depression. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Day. Um, every day. Oh my god. For, for girls, though, I'm easily going with the tramp stamp. Um, what? I feel like those aren't. Okay, no, tramp stamps are look kind of good sometimes. They, they look, look good, they but I was like, red flag. Yeah. The butterfly ones. I get scared, Christine? dude. What do you guys think about butterfly tattoos? I like and, them. Uh, uh, yeah, they're cool. I would give it on yeah. myself, like a like a cool one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about a girl with a uh, spine tattoo? Okay, I was gonna say spine. I think it's it's it looks really good, but I think it's intimidating. I don't know, just for Very. me. Like I'd be like, oh mean? shit. I just think it's intimidating on a girl. Yeah. I think certain tattoos that girls have are like. What's another one that's intimidating? Like, 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 I think the spine one is the most intimidating. I don't know why. I just feel mm-hmm. like there's some bad bitches, bro. <laughs> I just think that. I don't know. I, what, oh, in so what way? Woman. In what way? In what way? Literally, what he means? It's intimidating. Like, like they're I, just intimidating. If there's like a very attractive woman mm-hmm. and she has like I don't know, like a dress on, she has a full spine tattoo. I'm a little intimidated. Yes. I have no idea why. Agreed, but I'm agreed. a little intimidated. But Not in a bad like way. In a good, no, in yeah, a good, in a good way. way, though, way in a like, good I'm way. I'm just a little intimidated. I'm like, you, like, you wouldn't know how to handle her. Like, I would, I would be like, like, bad bitch. Like, like I would choke. Like, yeah, I would choke. No, like, I would yeah. choke. If she, yeah, like, s- really smooth and she just got a spine tattoo, I'd probably be like, oh, damn. Agreed. I'm a feel you, feel right you. Agreed. What about, is I there any t- tattoo for, like, guys like that? Where they um, have a tattoo and you're like, it's intimidating? Well, I wanted to say um, the red flag one. Good. Because Lynn, um, she's a tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know her already, um, She's a beast, by the way. But um, she was talking about this one tattoo, and she made a good point. She was talking about um, guys that get lion tattoos. And that's because, like, usually guys that do that have a big ego because, like, yeah, like, you know, like, they're trying to get, like, that that strength, like that. Like a big man. Like big man type of tattoo. And that's what she correlated it with. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a good fucking point. You got any other ones? Um, Christine, even? What about like Roman numeral lettering? Red flags. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I don't what? like? I don't like <laughs> sometimes like I know guys that have like these back tattoos that look kind of like corny. Like which ones? It depends on like the style of the tattoo that it's like done in. Give me something. 
like are you talking about like patchwork like face no like traditional where it's like or like um, no american traditional like new style where it's like the cartoonish ones i guess like, like, like something like, like acid on the back like, yeah is it like is it color and like a cartoony yeah yeah that's, oh. that's like personal style some people like really fuck with that yeah mm. but yeah. that is not really it, it yeah it's not my <laughs> style of like tattoos so like that would be like a red flag because mm-hmm. i'm like oh that's that's an interesting thing you decided to put on your body (laughs) forever i do see that there was this one girl who got like comic sans tattooed on her back did you see that that? in the comic oh my gosh oh hell and it covers like her whole back i think i saw that like that is obviously i gotta show you Devin, because that's obviously a style choice but that would be a red flag to me (laughs) out of all the fonts you picked that oh my god that's like some psychopath shit right there it's a type of font Oh, is it the oh. really skinny one? No, no, no. It's like, a, it's it's like a kid almost. Like <laughs> it's like horrible. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, of trying, of, to I'm trying to think of ones that are intimidating, to be honest. Because the spine, that was a good way to put it. That, okay. Yeah, what about um, we're moving on to intimidating now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what if a guy had a uh, a penis tattoo? No. no. Like Pinocchio. What if a guy had an inner lip tattoo? Oh no other tattoos, but all he has is the inner lip. Okay, actually, no, that's, that's fire. No, 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 that's a red fucking flag. <laughs> ah, <duh. laughs> really? <laughs> she said that's fire. I think I think leg tattoos are fire. No, she leg, said, I said inner lip. Inner lip. Inner lip. Inner I thought lip. it's the inner leg, like right here. Oh, my bad, y'all. Uh, Literally not like this. Lip tattoos are intimidating Maybe to me. That's just- that's because I I have an ex who has inner lip. He only has one tattoo in his whole body that, and it's an inner lip tattoo. What does it say? It's a fucking pineapple. That's oh my god! Tough. That is not tough. That is tough. That's that not fucking cringe. tough. That's I'm so. Saying, that's such a red flag. Intimidating. Fine. Intimidating. Uh, yeah, intimidating. For what? Is there mm, anything for guys? I think for necks. Oh like, yeah, oh. any neck tats are intimidating. And when it looks good though, like yeah. even more intimidating. I'm like, oh, yeah. you could pull that off. You like, know what I like? Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can I? That doesn't really the size. The, the front. Yeah. Yeah. The front? You know Always on the side. You know what I like a lot? I like when guys have like. <laughs> when they have what? I like, no, I I, I like the I like the style when like dudes put on a shirt and the tattoos are barely peeking out. Yeah, yes. I think that stuff though. looks tough. Like when like all oh, around, it's like, like it's, just, it's just barely it's just barely peeking out. You know, yeah. you know, and then but then usually they're like blasted everywhere. I'm, I'm telling love, you, bro. Yeah, when they have the little yeah. outline. Bro, when I look at myself in the mirror with the tattoo now, oh, it's tough, feel so bro. Sick. It's tough, bro. I feel oh, so it's sick. A, it's the best feeling ever getting a tattoo. It's like a fresh haircut like all the time, though. Yeah. No, I literally like be. I used to stare at that. I still do. Every time like I roll my sleeve, I'm like, oh, that shit's tough. Like I'm walking around, I'm like, oh. That's kind of dope. And I'm kind yeah, of bummed yeah. that I got on the back of my arm. Yeah, I really, I that's really the thing. I want to see, see my tattoo. But yeah, it's really cool. It's a, spot. it's a good spot. Yeah, it's a good spot. Yeah, it's a good spot. It's a really good spot. Mm-hmm. It's not, everyone else will see My it. next one, I'll get on the front. I would love yeah. to get a face tat, dude. It's more than scary. anything. Like, coming down, like, the side. You would love to get one? Oh, I'd love to. My mom would probably cut my skin off. Like, yeah. she would not let that shit fly. Yeah. Like, this, she had a heart attack. I've seen so. guys do them where their sideburns are. I think that looks really cool. I like, I've always wanted to get one right in the back of my ear. I want one right here that just dropped in. That's fire. Huh? No heart. Heart? Yeah. Hearts are cute. Get? I'd get I'd get my uh mom, dad, and sister's uh Name. first initial on there. <laughs> bro, wait, what are the initials? What was the I'm what not gonna you tell you. Bro, Anyways. He said this shit at his birthday. Wait, 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 it was, it's wait, like wait, right, guys, it? can we just keep it <laughs> let's just I keep it going. Ah, uh, dude, it's overheating, bro. We gotta finish up. Okay. No, it's not. We gotta finish up. Is it MSN? Finish no, it's not. Finish no, it's not. MSN. Dude, it's MSN, the fucking no. The it is mess- though. But messy, it is though. Messi Suarez Neymar. But it is. That's the like, initials like, I really want to get like Emerson tatted. And everyone was like, oh, oh. And I was like, yeah, that shit's fucking whack. <laughs> but it, but it, that's literally my parent. That's my parents and my sister's initial, man. No, I respect it. It's just funny. Because like, I think everyone was like. Okay, can we just. Uh, who, who invited this guy? Anyways. Um, <laughs> who, what are other tattoos that can be, instead of red flags, let's talk about intimidating. Like intimidating tattoos. Um, I think I think, I think neck him. tats on dudes would probably be like the one thing that is like super intimidating. Yeah, I would say f- uh, face tats, some face yeah. tats, face uh, tats. Yeah. like near the eyebrow, intimidating, mm. in a good way. Yeah. Um, but I have ones that are not intimidating, but I like on guys. Go Can ahead. I see him? Go ahead. Okay, like the ones where like, um, okay, it doesn't have to be in a specific body part, but quotes like on top of like a nice drawing. Oh, yeah, oh, that's mm. cool. Like in cursive, that's just fire. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Taking notes. Hmm? You taking okay. notes? I am. Question <laughs> for the girls: If your man had like blasted, you know, what I mean, not like blasted, but he had like yeah. tattoos all around his neck, he has them on his face. Would you feel like opposed to them meeting your parents for a long time? Nah. No. Because my parents are very like open-minded about tattoos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me, yes. Yeah. Just because, um, like my mom would skin 
me alive if she even sees this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, same thing with my mom. My yeah. mom would trip hard. I feel like that's so bad, too. Like, I'd feel so bad to tell the girl. Yeah. Like, I don't you think, like, you should meet her right now. Like, ease up to Dang. the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that'd be so hard to hear, like... Definitely. The girl would just think, or the guy would think, like your parents aren't accepting <coughs> of them because yeah. of a certain style. Like my dad wouldn't care, but I think my mom. Would care. I mean, it's also just because, like, my parents grew up in Korea where it's illegal to have tattoos, mm. and like, if you have tattoos, it meant you were in a gang. So, like, it's a kind of a different oh, no. meaning, especially in like Asia. If you even in Japan, like, you can't go into like Japanese saunas with tattoos. So. Yeah, but isn't that also because, like, gang-affiliated, though? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's... Obviously, now, culture is changing. It's shifting a little bit. Um, but it was very, very strict. Yeah. Like, in Japan, Korea, like, um, tattoos are just seen as, like, you being a, a gang-affiliated. Yeah. Dang. That makes sense. That makes no sense. matter what the tattoo is, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Um, that's is all it, I can think of, though. still like that? I feel like I do. You want to see if we can do one more question? That's it. Because I saw a really good Vice documentary about like underground tattoo artists in Japan, and they like talked about um, tattoo artists in Korea too. Oh yeah. Damn. What baby names should we leave in 2022? Oh. 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 Um. Fucking. All the ones that have the G H's. E I G H. E have you seen oh, like, like Ashlyn, Ashlyn like, 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 like spelled with like E-I-G-H Mikayla? yeah it's usually white people naming their kids that oh, but I've never you? heard that name before <laughs> yeah it's like crazy they go crazy with it I'd rather have a creative name than like fucking Sean, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what's your real name I would huh? say like no <laughs> damn I've had an opportunity there Seanathan I changed my name to Seanathan on TikTok because I thought it sounded cooler but I like Seanathan gotta... better Oh, well, I guess oh I'll tattoos are that. still illegal. Oh wow, that's in Korea still. So if we it, go there, it remains illegal for anyone other than <laughs> medical professionals to give tattoos. Oh, interesting. Why would a medical professional? It upheld a ban of tattooing. Yeah, there's like a ban. Like uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, there's a lot of underground ones I heard. Yeah. Brian. Brian. Don't do Brian. Why Brian? <laughs> I don't like the name Josh. <laughs> Josh. Josh I'm Joshua. Okay I'm okay with that one. Like Billy. It's Billy just too leave common. It behind. No, I know a sick Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I know a cool Billy. Robert. I'm just thinking of like... <laughs> cool you know what I saw, yeah, though? I, I, saw, cool. I saw a video saying, though, that people should be naming their babies like adult names, not like yeah. Not yeah. names. Yeah, because kid What's names... Kid? Bro, no. Adult, dad, adults with kids' names are weird. My dad, like Richard, you know, Richard, like yeah, as a baby... It just doesn't sound right. Yeah, but that's when like yeah, they call him Richie. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, Richie. Richie. Oh, okay, yeah, See, you know? I wish yeah, I had yeah. like a nickname or Bill. Bill. That'd be Bro, so Bill. cool. Billy. Ah. Come on, man. That's a nickname for everything. No, but I mean, like, don't name your kid that though. Like, I don't want to have <laughs> Bill. Name. Bill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably not Bill. <laughs> popular. Oh, the popular baby names are like normal, like Amelia, Oliver, Ava, oh, Noah, James, Evelyn, Isabella. Aurora is Wolfgang a weird Amadeus. One. Aiden. Leave Stormy behind. That's a terrible name. Damn boy. I was You're gonna get a lot of fucking haters. What's the for other that. one? What's the other Maybe one? Maybe like Barbara. Cloud or something like that? What's the North? the other kid? No, no, no. Oh, her son's kid. name. Oh. You, you actually should not put that in Thunder? there. You will get fucking <laughs> roasted. Sky. Sky. Sky? Sky? No. Sky's kinda Sky's cool. Sick. Wait, that that's not his name. I thought his right? name was like I, Wolf or something like no, that. No, oh, it was wolf? it was oh. Wolf they and then it? she got called out for it yeah. and we're like whatever because like there's another famous influencer like australian influencer tammy hembro hembro i don't know how you say her name but she has a son named wolf and people were like oh kylie's copying her damn that makes you change your kids name so she changed her name I think it's that easy is that like cash yeah i think cash is a sick ass name i saw this little kid named cash with the k yeah. would be cool <gasps> cash is cool. i don't know but, but he, that's he, a, he had like he already had like a little tattoo right here he's like five years old it's because the parents want to do it for like they're just like, because the kid has a tattoo wait, wait, nah, but dude he's like he's wait, he looks tough as shit wait and his name's cash a five year old I saw, kid? I saw a kid where did you meet this you guys, kid you know, you know what's say. the worst <laughs> baby names wait i feel like <laughs> parents shouldn't be giving their five year olds tattoos that's crazy at like a wedding and he he had little tux on and it's just like something for the family it's very small but oh, like okay. i saw it and he had like earrings and then i was like oh like what's your name and then he's like cash and i was like that's fucking sick damn that is but i think his full name would be cashton though no cashton cashton would be kind of fire too cashton. Cashton. that's that's your that's the full name cashton that's still c-a-s-s-i-a-n what do you guys think about the name Araya? 
Araya. Araya? Yeah. Bad name? That's what good. name are you obsessed no, with? No, it's good. Like, what's like a it's cool Uriah. name? Uriah? Uriah, I think, is a cool girl's name. Uriah. I don't know why. I just thought it was cool. Mm. No, it's it's cool. I like my mom. I like my mom's middle name, Adeseli. Oh, that's oh, so that's, that's really sick. pretty. Adeseli. Oh, my dad's name, Mark. That is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I want to name my kid Xavier. I think that's the toughest name. Xavier's tough name. I love Xavier. Javier. Jade is pretty. Mm-hmm. I think Xavier is gonna be the, the boy. dude. I was about to say Xavier. Do you like that name? That's my favorite. Boy that's name. my favorite boy. Okay. Name. Oh, Listen, we're gonna have we're issues, on, buddy. We're basically on two hours. I say we uh, say our final goodbyes, wrap it up, and then hit the ten just like me. Yes. Yes. Do you guys have anything else to add? No. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap it up then. Keep calm uh, and swag on. Go ahead and sign us off, big dog. All right, y'all. This has been another episode of Summer Talks. Go ahead and fucking smash that like button. Oh yeah. 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 Share this with all your friends. Yeah. Follow us on every social media platform. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay swaggy. Stay fucking swaggy. Yeah. Stay yeah. swaggy. Stay swaggy. Until the next episode, my friends. You say hi. I, I am your host. Oh, I'm your host, Sage. And I'm everybody Christine. else you can. David. Nikki G. Maruli. Seanathan. Can you guys do this? Sign out like that. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. And as always, YOLO, motherfuckers. YOLO. YOLO. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God these glasses are so uncomfortable.